from the Paramus Catholic Athletic Sea Fields in Paramus, New Jersey. WCTV is proud to present high school football. Hello, everybody. I'm Larry Fury along with John Francola. We're here in Paramus to see a game between the Lions of Pope John the 23rd against the Paladins of Paramus Catholic. John, both teams are coming off a, a, a loss, and we are here to see one of these teams can be a, become a winner. But we're also here because we have the uh, Meatball Classic, which we've been doing for a number of years. We're at the uh, halftime. We'll be making Meatball Sandwich, handing them out to our crew and to coaches and fans and cheerleaders. It's a precedent that we've been doing here for about the last 20 years, either uh, cannolis or meatballs. This year, like last year's meatball sandwiches. We got the meatballs here, the bread is ready, and we're doing this at halftime. And of course, we got to thank my wife, Peg. And you know, if anybody's out there that wants to find out how to make great meatballs, we can give you that number. Call well, we, me. No, John's not going <laughs> to give Peg's number. No, no, no. Not gonna no, but uh, let's let, go back. Let, let's get into the game. Now, both teams lost last week. Uh, Pope John the 23rd played an outstanding, one of the better teams in New Jersey in DePaul. They got beat pretty good, but they're coming back. That first game, sometimes you just got to throw it out, get the cobwebs out. Now they come back. The ship is settled. They are starting a freshman quarterback, number nine. Uh, uh, Peter Delaportes. Delaportes. <coughs> and we watched him warm up, and the young man could really fire the ball. I mean, I don't know. You know, well, it, there's much of a drop between the uh, first string and the second string. He well, really it, fires the ball all over the place. Well, Peter was the one who threw the touchdown pass, a 74-yarder to Dangler for their only score in that game. And, you know, you mentioned DePaul. I mean, they're, they, they're going to be one of the top teams in the state. They're fantastic. They can score. But this is a new start for both teams. Down by, you know, you got uh, DePaul up. Uh, you got the pull out of the way, and you got Pope John in here. He's got to win. Whoever wins here has a good move into the season. Right. You know, a team that comes out of here uh, with a win could, like I said, settle the ship. A loss here could hurt the team looking forward. Let's talk a little about Paramus Catholic. What a way to lose <coughs> last week. Oh. Two safeties in the last six minutes, and they lost out in Pennsylvania. It was a hard-fought game. They come in with a lot, a lot of sophomores playing, but these sophomores are extremely talented. We had a long conversation with their new head coach, John Whitehead, who's very happy the way the team is progressing, the way his programs are progressing. Well, Larry, they have no seniors on his team. And, you know, when you break down, they have 65 players, and he likes th this team. You know, here they should have won that game, and they expect, he's expecting to win tonight. Uh, what Coach Whitehead said, he likes to throw the ball downfield. He like he said to us, and I'm going to quote him, I like to go vertical. He has an outstanding so sophomore quarterback in number four, Dorian Noel, who has a, him too, has a tremendous arm. He's got wide receivers in Jared George and Walter Quick Jr., uh, Andy Averroes. These kids run downfield, they throw the ball, and they got a real hard running halfback. By the name of Tashawn Brinson, number 28. They call him T-Rex. It's gonna be a great game there, Larry. And what, you know, talking to the head coach, and we know him for a long time, he talked and gave us a lot of information. He's building, he didn't have the opportunity to bring in players because the job was settled late. But he's got freshmen, sophomores, and juniors, no seniors. They will be a team to be reckoned in the future. Uh, he's very, Coach Whitehead, he is very happy with the way the program is shaping out. And he's good, to, he's taking the long view. He's looking down the road a couple of years and it looks like it's gonna be smooth sailing once he gets past this rough patch of water. Both teams are on the field, the fans are filing in, there's a touch of rain, it's according to the WCTV radar, it's raining just south of us on Route 80, we hope it stays there until this game is completed. The Paladins are on the other side for the first time. The, uh, I wonder why. P Pope John is here, well, a lot I of teams control. are doing that now, putting the team away from the fans on the other side. Yeah. So we'll be back with the National Anthem, the kickoff and the start of this exciting game between Pope John the 23rd and the Paladins of Paramus Catholic.
Father Don Hummel leads us in prayer. Well, the uh, toss of the coin took place while we were off, and we are going to have the chaplain talk. And and the just to let the you know that the, uh, the poor, uh, Pope John won the toss thing to kick off. O God, creator and ruler of the universe, you are the source of our strength and abilities, and we are grateful for the opportunity to flex both mind and muscle as we gather on this gridiron tonight. Whether from Pope John or Paramus Catholic, Lion or Paladin, we are all precious in your sight, and so we humbly pray for victory over our biggest obstacle, ourselves. For victory with humility that belies the reality that all athletic skill is gift. For protection from injury and harm. For blessings on all here present, fans, families, athletes, coaches, and officials, for respect for each other and the game, for reward, for preparation and perseverance, for excellence in all that we do now and along all of life's pathway, for growth in mind, body, and spirit, for a commitment to build your kingdom of peace and justice. In all these, to know, love, and serve Jesus your Son, our Lord, to your greater glory here and hereafter, to be an honor to the Father. Amen. Amen. Our Lady, Queen of the Paladins. Well, I was saying that Pope John won the toss. They deferred, so they will be kicking off, defending the goal to our left. Bram is Catholic, will receive defending the goal to our right. Now they're going to change, it looks like. Yep. <laughs> How do you like that? They changed it on me. See that? Well, no, it's early it's... in the season, Larry. No, I, I <clears throat> Yeah. I thought that, uh, they ought to, I, you know what, I was right. I was They're right. moving them in the right place. I told you that was right. Well, it's, I... it's early in the season, Larry. Yeah, well, everybody <laughs> made a mistake. How do you like that? They you were right before we did. <laughs> First mistake. Not for us. Them. <laughs> for them. So we, we got everybody <laughs> straightened out where they want to stay, where they're going to go. Robert Morrell will kick. He's a freshman for Pope John, number 36. He does both, I think, for them. He does, yeah, he does play <laughs> kicking. <laughs> well, probably a punting, too. Makes it easier for us and for the coach. Jasim Brooks, number six, is deep. Here comes the kick. High, end over end, coming down to his counterpart. Bobbled around, picked up, goes to the outside, and he is gang tackled. That would be Dante Johnston as he gets across the 20 yard line. First and 10 for the Paladins. With Dorian Norrell as the quarterback. Tyshawn Brinson will be a running back to catch. The wide receivers, nine, Jared George should be one, Ivan Brito should be the other one. So we'll wait to see who, they give you the starting lineup, but you gotta get a quick look to see who's coming out. Well, we had to really come up with the lineup. <laughs> so first and 10, we're just getting started things here. Crowd is still filing in, you might expect for a seven o'clock game. Ambrosi comes out to the left. The rest of the team is tied. Noel is calling signals. So they got two deep, it looks like. Hand off to Brinson. And he's hit in the middle and dropped. And he fights for two yards. He was stopped for no game, but just kept fighting. Number 45 was the young man who stopped him initially, Larry. Pedro Calderon. What made the tackle? And then his, all the, from the friends came on. He's a linebacker. Number 45, Pedro Calderon. Second and eight. Second down, eight yards to go. Brinson was stopped for no game, but he just kept chugging along and fell forward. Brito big, is in the slot. They're big up front for uh, Pope oh, John. Yeah. Where do you see the size of these young men up there? Noel has the ball come back. Fumble. Drops, throws. Incomplete. Intended, I believe, for Brito out there. 
it was it was good. Nope, that's way down there. That was in that number three? Yeah, that was intended for Javon Thomas. So it's third down and seven. Eight, I beg your pardon. Third down and eight from the 24-yard line. You know, Larry, I'm looking at some of the big guys inside for uh, Pope John, number 90, Luis Montana, 6'4", 260. Then he's flanked by 97, 99, 270, 245. They're big. Four down linemen. Long camp and Noel looking over the defense. This snap was way over his head. He's going to down it. And luckily he downs it at the five yard, five line. yard line. That's the third bad snap that he had to deal with. Looks like number 90. I believe so, down on the bottom of that. I just mentioned his name, Luis, on the Luis Montana. A senior, 6'4", 260. Fourth and long. Chris Rodriguez is dropping back for Pope John. A bad snap again. Ball comes, it's gonna bounce. A Take good a good bounce. one. Oh. Taken by Rodriguez, he's at the 40 and fights to about the 36 yard line. John, that's four <laughs> snaps back that were not good. They bounce back over the head. Bad snaps. So Pope John gets excellent field position. The ball is being spotted on the 37 yard line. First and 10. Jalen Rutherford was the one who uh, made the play. Della Portes calling signals, the freshman. Great field position on 38. Hands off to the running back and he's dropped quickly. Hold. Jacob Hahn, a Big senior. Loss. About three yards. Looks like stop by number 22 for uh, corner, cornerback, Kenneth Kennedy. Quickly, Pope John is to the line of scrimmage. Second about 15. Bella Portes calling signals. Looks, throws, almost intercepted, knocked away by Brooks. Uh, number six that time, Larry. He had a lot of jazz him. A freshman. That's a freshman. You know, we didn't mention beforehand, they have six freshmen starting yes. on yeah. offense and defense for uh, Brandon Catlin. <clears throat> Both teams are having a little difficulty here on offense. The Laporte has calling signals. Looks, 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 fires. A little bit inside, inside bubble screen. screen. And he gets back to the original line of scrimmage is Jocene Brooks. It's gonna bring up a fourth and nine. That was Ward on the reception. How about a long field goal? They're gonna, <laughs> no, they're gonna punt. They gotta punt. No, the ball's on the 37 yard. They're gonna try to pin Paramus Catholic back. You know, you can try to make him jump offside. Push it back a little bit for a better kick. John Lyons with the tackle. Dante Johnson is back. Good snap back. Kick is very hard. Johnson's back, he's calling it off. And the ball bounces in the end zone. That's a good thing. <laughs> so that kick only netted uh, some uh, 17 yards. From 37 back to the 20. But he gets credit for 37 ball yards. <laughs> Well, he tried to push it inside the five. We have Absolutely. no score at 9.15. You are watching WCTV, the all-volunteer access group from the township of Washington here on the campus of Ramos Catholic High School for our annual, are you ready for this, folks? Our annual meatball bowl game. Uh, they're telling me it's the classic meatball game. It's gotta be a classic. This is a meatball classic of epic proportions. How's that? Best meatballs in town. Uh, they're right in front of me. I keep smelling them. Oh, they smell. It smells good. And Rosie will come out to the left. Noel calling signals, and we have a play. Oh, that was quick. Well, you know what's happening right now. Everybody's a little bit off. You know, in this game, it's a, really it's a second game. 
penalty was false start. That's going to be a motion penalty back uh, five yards. Five yards, first and 15. Five yard penalty. That'll bring up first down and 15. We have a lot of yard underclassmen for Primus Catholic. The whole team is underclassmen. <laughs> yeah. There's no seniors. We have motion here now. British right next to Noah. Inside. And off to Brito, and he is, and oh. they're going to call face masking. Yeah, number nine had a great hit, Ireland Burke. But that was a um, a high should get. That be, I believe that's going to be a face mask. Let's see, what's the ref say here? Yeah, he's it's going 15 yards. Oh yeah. I think he I think he made the signal. That's going to be a first. Uh, whoa! Oh, look at this. This is first of the foul face mask. From the point of the foul, I guess 15 yards. So it's going to bring up a no, first down and two. Base max. <laughs> first and two yards. Look at this. You don't see that much, do you? First no, that's a good. That's a good. First down and one. I guess you can do anything you want here. <laughs> Throw a bomb. <laughs> you got some nice speed out there. You got trips to the right. Oh, a little Throw out here. screen. He's got a screen outside. Oh, and nice he's spin. tackled from behind. Looks like number 17. Yeah, that's tough to see out there. Michael one, Hudson. Number 17, Michael Hudson. See that? He got it from me. <laughs> First Michael that. Hudson. Take the ball away. Ireland Burke made the tackle. He was one step to break in that. Primus Catholics got a lot of speed. Pook, yeah, they do look like they got speed. That's Pushes out step. to the left. Slot in the slot. <laughs> Hand off the Brit. Hits the hole and it's close quickly. Couple of yards. Looks like number five. I give it to Miguel to Lopez. Lopez on the stop. Brinson for two yards. A lot of size on both lines. And here you have two teams that started 0 and 1 this year. They need a victory. Each one needs this victory. So the Both winner moves the on. The Second loser has a problem. Ambrosius comes out to the left. We have motion by George. Hand off again. <coughs> There's a nice cutback in the hole. First down. And he is down. Brinson is down to about the 50 yard this line. Big field. Stopped this by number here. nine again. Ireland Burke. He had four tackles last game. He now has two in the last two plays. So that was, he was going off left tackle. He cut First back, ten from threw a little nice. gap and hit that hole and picked up about 10 yards. A nice misdirection and the defense went with the fake. There he is again. Vincent. Big hole there. I'll tell you what, John. When these Pope John kids hit you, you go down. That's Chris Sable. He had seven tackles last week. That's his number eight. Here. Oh, they hit. Right down by Burke. Oh, they're whacking them. There they are. So you got one and you got five is Lopez. They're not that big, but they're quick and they hit. Oh, they hit. <laughs> they can hit. Two yard gain on the play. Second down and eight. Oh. Second we have a new announcer. Team. team is relatively tight, Grammys. Captain. Noel calling signals. The ball comes, snaps back, pulley again. Throws it downfield. And he has his oh, man on a great catch. Number 17. There he is again. Michael, Michael Hudson. Hudson. A sophomore. And he went up and took the That's ball the away. Hudson. Well, Hudson went up and took the ball away from the would-be defender and came down with it. That's after the ball comes. <laughs> oh, that was back. a great. Again, they're having trouble getting the ball back from center. Yeah. Well, these are the things they got to iron out, but that was a great throw and a beautiful catch by number 17. No more calling signals. Hooks motion. Round the right side. He's got blocking oh, out he's, there. Got plenty and he's of got blocking. some great room. And he gets down to he about the seven yard line. Seven, seven yard line. Hooks the ball carrier. I think number five made the stop. So that's Michael a nice Lopez. Run by Mr. Yeah, Lopez. Lopez on the stop. But a great Jasmine move. Books is a uh, freshman. Oh. 5'10", 175, but he's a speedster. You know, Larry, there's six freshmen to start for Paramus Catholic. Well, first and goal from the eight. No, first and goal, signals. I guess. Again, Brinson has, hits the middle. 
Stays on his feet and bounces to about the five yard line. Yeah, I'm just trying to pick up the guy coming up. It was number 76, I believe, on the stop. Giovanni Potente, and that means Giovanni Strong. <laughs> That's a nice name, Giovanni. Five minutes, 34 seconds to go. Paramus Catholic is driving. The ball is inside the five yard line, far Let's away from us. On the they show over. it on the fourth. That's over 100 yards away from us. <laughs> well, here we go. First and goal. George is way out to the left. I mean, he's way out to the left. Yeah, they're, they're going to come right straight up to oh, another, another bounce back. Hey, this, the ball got bounced, and number ninety was made the tackle stop right away. Lewis Montana. He's been he's been active. Number ninety. That's Double. two tackles. Lewis Montana. Lewis Montana. So that's a loss of a four or five yards. The ball is now on the seven yard line. Third and goal from the seven. They they have. Dave, if you're rooting for Primus Catholic, you have to score. Yeah. Off, you got to get a jump for seven Third points. Goal. They're having a hard time getting the snap back from center. Yeah, I don't know what's happening there. This young man, Poor, does a nice job. Dorian Noel. And we have a timeout on the field. As Paramus takes a timeout with 4.22 to go, we have no score, but Paramus Catholic will have a third and goal from the seven yard line of Pope John 23rd. You are watching WCTV, the all volunteer access group from the township of Washington, and you're watching the classic meatball game from Paramus Catholic High School. At halftime, we're gonna start handing these meatball sandwiches out. How many, John, what you make, about 35 meatballs, 40 meatballs? We had 43 meatballs that were made. Next year, we can do 60 with this pot. We got 42 meatballs, 18 rolls, and 73 people who want sandwiches. Well, you know what? Once it runs out, forget about it. You and I don't get You don't get anything. My wife says, you mean to tell me I made the meatball and you don't even get one? Don't get one. I said we got a lot of hungry people. We got a lot of people that <laughs> what happens is hun, by I the time it. we finish handing them out, the second hip starts. So if you, you're out there and you want to talk to somebody who makes meatball, you can call my wife. You know what we do? We tell Maggie. people, you know what? You watch the game while we eat. We'll come back in the foot, third, end of the third quarter. <laughs> Maybe later on we'll, we'll All right, we'll here we go. Third, third down, six. goal at the seven. Noel is calling signals. Got to get a, got to get a score if you're rooting for Prime. Well, they call timeout. Noel's going to keep it, and he's dropped for a loss. And the ball's fumbled. Recovered. And it's going to be picked up by Sable. Are they, Sable. Are they, they saying it. he's down? I don't or know. Is it a fumble? They si well, they're going to talk about it. Let's Sable, see. Sable's going to take it home with them. Nope. They're gonna say he was down. Okay. So here we're gonna go for a field goal, I presume. This was intended for Tashawn Brinson. Larry, the speed of Pope John is unbelievable. They are, both teams are very quick. Chris Sable had seven tackles last game, and you haven't even seen number two, Danucci, who had 10 tackles. Let's see who's kicking here. It's too far away. Let's get a number. Well, yeah, it's tough. Let's see. Yeah, we get a close-up shot, maybe we... We gotta get a kicker here. Let's see. It's in the 30s. <laughs> Kick is up. And it's, it's good. good. He bangs it through. 30 yard. It looked like the number 30, Charles Zamora. Yeah, that's the kicker. Charles Zamora puts it through. This is the last play where the ball was uh, either fumble, fumble or, the or he was down. We'll see. All right. This, this, this is slow motion. I mean, you can't get any more, John, you can't get any more slow motion than this. I think I'll be able to get a touchdown with that. So everybody's, everybody's going to fall asleep on this. He gives the inside handoff. Faint. He keeps it. Now look at the break in. By look the at the way he's keeping the ball there. Look at the speed, how quickly he gets to the line. And that's and that's number one. That's Mr. Sable. He hit him low and knocked the ball out. It looks like it was a fumble, but yes. I think the referee said the knee was down. No? Yeah. The 
ball's rolling around. This. And number one, after he made the hit, gets the ball. And he's happy. He says, I got the ball. So a three yard, uh, so three the point boys. hits a 30 yarder. And Paramus Catholic takes a three nothing lead. They always have a great kicker. Oh, they always do. Ball bounding around, picked up, and knocked out of bounds. But number six. That was uh, Meleki Ward. Ward. He's a junior. How did he get in with junior? All sophomores and seniors, well, he gets in as a junior. Well, they, they, can, they have great speed. This is an excellent team. I think the, the, what they're saying now is that the quarterback, Noel, flipped the ball forward and it was an incomplete forward pass. Okay. So if you thought Pope it was John a fumble, it was not. It could be called line. an incomplete forward pass. So now the ball is on the seven yard line. Well, here's a chance where you can turn the ball if you're rooting for Paramus Catholic. On seven, Hand off, and a nice run inside by, I believe, number three. That's Matthews. Nafis Matthews, yes. There he is. Matthews, the ball carrier. Gain about three, three yards, yards, I believe, yeah. Second and seven. We're uh, inside the four minute mark of the first quarter. Three nothing, Paramus Catholic, if he just joined us. Look at his trips to the left. Okay. This is calling signals. Quick, again, that try to do that bubble screen. Great defense, right? I'm trying to pick up the young man. Looks That's like number, right. number 22, Kenneth Kennedy, double K. I got a mosquito here, Larry. Third down, they're giving him a yard. Third down and six now. That was a great job by Double K. <laughs> Delaporte is calling signals. He looks now, looks, throws outside. And is it, it, it does no good. They're saying he hit the ground. It definitely did hit the ground. And number 10, the, 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 ball, the ball was intended for Jones. Jones. He, had two, he had two receivers in the same the area. The deeper one might have been open. So you're looking at fourth down. Now here's where you need a very good kicker. And Justin Hurling looks like he can, he, he can fit that bill. He's gonna have to punt a good one here. He's like, he's eight yards, looks like about eight uh, yards, the seven yards in the end zone. Johnson is backing up to about his 50. You like gotta he, get a good snap here. If he gets the ball over the 50 yard line, that's some kick. Well, that's right. The snap is all important. Mistake here. Like a oh, there's a high what snap. What do we say? And that's it goes, goes two the points. End. That's two points. That's a safety. A safety. <laughs> what do we say? And again, that's the third safety in the last two quarters that Paramus Catholic was involved in. They had uh, two against them. So the snap goes over the, the uh, kicker's head, and it's now a five to nothing lead by Paramus Catholic, and they will be seeing the kickoff from Pope John. So he had three, three safety now, two against and one four. John, the, the, the center play is, the centers are having a difficult time here's, here. Here's the snapper, look at that, way over and out of the end zone, giving you a two point safety for Paramus Catholic. They were, last week, they had two against them to lose the game. One, one was blocked in the end zone. Final one, I think, for two. They lost 18 16. They're winning 16 14 with six minutes to go in the game, and they gave up two uh, safeties. So what look, a way to let a long ride home. Larry, looks like we're doing a baseball game right now. 5 nothing. bottom of the second. <laughs> <laughs> maybe, maybe Judge is going to hit today. <laughs> nah, I don't think Judge is going to hit for a while. No, nah, I think they're going to save him. I don't know what. They may not, they may they may not, not get anything. They may not be anything in October. This I'll keeps tell you, up. The Oakland can play. And now they're in, they're doing, they're going up to Seattle. And well, That's let's see the kick. Good. There's a kick coming down. Flag on the play. Oh. And we have a flag as Brooks catches the ball. That's going to be offside probably. 
Must be against the wind he's kicking because the young man is a good bike. Offside. You see that every once in a while on a kick. So now they back him up five more yards, which means that the uh, Ramos Catholic will have an even better position. <laughs> So we try this again. Justin Hart leads again. So from Berlin, 35. Berlin will kick again. Johnson is deep along with Brooks. Here comes Erline to the ball. Puts it in. Oh, that's, what that's a, a great punt. Kick. Brooks is, oh, what a punt. What a kick off. Oh my God, what a to kick. To the three yard All line. The way back to the three yard line. And there goes Johnson. Oh, he's off the, the races. And he falls to the 45 yard line. That's Lindo Zaki. Boy, did number Herline 23. Kick the ball back to the three yard line. He brought it back some 45 yards. He may have overkicked his coverage. Unbelievable kickoff. Up by Justin Hartley. Oh, what a kick. Oh, and Lindo Zaki. Paladins, first and 10 from the 45-yard line. Wow, he was, that was something. He was one step for breaking that. Oh, yeah. One step from going 97 yards. After you had a great kickoff, I put the ball down to the three-yard oh, he line. Got it all. He's got some leg, that young man. Whoa. What a kick. That was a great and kick. It wasn't and then a return. It, one man, he almost broke the tackle. Ambrosius comes out to the left. Noel calling signals. Brooks is in motion. Brinson gets it, and he's tackled from behind at the 45-yard line. Number nine, Ireland Burke once again with the tackle, Larry. He's got three tackles at this point. Tackle made by Burke. I like that name, Ireland Burke. I don't see an Italian Burke, you know? <laughs> Let me see. 6'3", 290. Whoa. Whoa. Holy macro. 6 3 2 nine. Two minutes and 30 seconds to go in the first quarter. A field goal in the safety has put uh, Paramus Catholic on top. <laughs> Ireland had four tackles last week and he got three today already. Noel calling signals. Throw out here to Hudson. Hudson with some speed. Flag on the play. Flag Two flags play. on the play. Yeah, I think it's, they're gonna bring that one back. That was Hudson making the catch, but it's gonna go back. Let's Looks like holding or? They're gonna back him up. Holding against Paramus Catholic. Puts them back to the, f where they are? They're on the 39 yard line. So it would be 16, 16 yards to a first second place 16. for first down. So second down. Brito, at the line. what a young quarterback second he is. Number Hudson, four. Brito and Hudson roll over to the right side. Noel back, looks, gonna be a screen pass. And oh. Looks, oh, that was called out beautifully. Michael Danucci! Well, he saw that as a linebacker. Pass to Dante Johnson. Michael Danucci on the tackle. Number 11 for the season. Boy, he saw that. Well, I mean, he really. He hit him. He came out of the oh, linebacker. We can do it at Don and Della, you and I. <laughs> Michael Danucci. <laughs> what a hit. Oh. You know what? You want to draw that up. Yeah. You want to draw that up on the, uh, on the on the on the blackboard and show it on film. That was a perfect play by that young man. That's his 11th tackle of the season. George shows oh. over to the right. Brinson has the handoff as he goes around right. Close to. And he gets knocked out of bounds as he gets across the 50-yard line. Get off the Brinson. Fourth down, and we have 45 seconds to go in the quarter here. Anthony Holmes with the stop. Anthony Caputo, I believe, made the stop. Helped by Chris Sabo, number seven. Looks like uh, Paramus Catholic and Coach Whitehead will punt. Jared George will it, do the uh, honors. It's early in the game. If you want to, it's the way to go. Not to take chances. 
They're gonna send everybody but the kitchen sink on this one. Everybody's coming. Look out for Well, they expect the How do you like that fight? Oh, oh look at this! What a run. He could go! Abrams he going! He could go all, all the way! way. It's a down inside! And he's tackled inside the ten on a fake! <laughs> That's number five. Christian Abram, Abraham. What a great fake. From the 48 yard line. To the seven. So they planned that very well. A fake. 45 yard fake run. Hey. I'll tell you what, John. They are fast, these kids. Ooh. He got great speed. He, he and they're run. all young. Can they run? Woo! This program's strength, Paramus Catholic, is in the uh, in their sophomore kids here. And a couple of freshmen. Oh, Just okay. the speed. Well, Abram. Chris. And with that great fake and run by game. Abraham. We have a 5 nothing lead, but Paramus Catholic is knocking on the door for more. Let's see that fake. Well, here is the fake as number nine was going to punt. George. George throws the, a little screen inside to number six. And number six. That's that was Brooks. That was Brooks. Brooks, who's a freshman, mind you. He does a nice jump over a potential tackler. Now he shows his speed. Nice block that time. Pick that young man. Remember his number, 23. Zaki Lindo. And now he shows his speed as he's pumping. He's got one more fake to throw. It's a battle to see if number four will stop him. That's Chris Rodriguez. He says, hold on. He tried juking him on the inside. Look at that, great tackle. Saving tackle. A saving tackle by Rodriguez. So Jasine Brooks, we had the wrong one, five, but six. Jasine Brooks, an outstanding runner. He did a great job running down, and he is a he is a freshman. Wow. A freshman. A freshman. What speed and what moves that he had to bypass a potential tackle. Outstanding play. I tell you, John, this young team. As we get into the end of September, October, get November in the playoffs, they, they're not going to play like sophomores and freshmen. Don't forget, they lost that game in, right at the end of the game. Well, looks, lunch, throws, has a man wide open who's going to go into the end zone for a touchdown. Troy Leary, number 16. 16. He was wide open. Troy Leary. Touchdown score by number 16, Troy Leary. So now it's 11-0. <laughs> and that was what, a, a seven yard TD pass? At least so. Seven yard TD pass. Pounded to cut the extra point so, to get Josh Lamar. Tomorrow we'll try the PAT. <coughs> Stevens so, will hold, kick is up, and he bangs it right through. So with 11 minutes, 52 seconds, on a fake punt, Ramos Catholic knocks it in and goes up 12 nothing over Pope John the 23rd. You are watching WCTV, the all volunteer access group from the township of Washington. Just watch the fake by the quarterback, number four. Young man, Noel uh, Dorian, throws the pass. What a nice pass. Look at his pass. Wide open in the, in the corner on about the six yard line. Number 16 goes in, untouched. Outstanding throw for number 16, Leary, with the score from the quarterback. The other freshman, score now 12 9. And Leary, 12 nothing. number 16, Troy Leary, is another freshman. So you're seeing freshman after freshman after freshman perform here for Paramus County. We have right now the six freshmen that start on this team. Dorian Noel, the quarterback. Christian Abraham, a free safety. Jasim Brooks, a safety. Jared George, a, a linebacker, H-back. 
Number 10, Walter Quick, wide receiver, and Michael N.C. Wheel, a right tackle. So those freshman players. Wow. Certainly are. What two this is. This is, uh, lost the number on that young man. Yeah, it looks like 44 oh, made the sack. 44, uh, Andrew Levy made the tackle. I don't that was Ward. Okay. So now, well, John's got to settle everything down, make a couple of first downs, and it's it's 12 nothing. You know, you score a touchdown, it's one score. So you, this game so is not out of reach. That was Chris Rodriguez, number four. So from the 25. We, well, they can't do it that way. Offside, let's see. Offside against Paramus Catholic, so that'll help. Uh, the all of uh, what do we call Offside that? penalty called against Paramus Catholic. The, but that is, that's infraction. The infraction no no longer offsides, right? It's encroachment. That's why oh, I hate that word. <laughs> I know that. Offsides. I was trying to be nice. <laughs> I know, they've been calling it encroachment for years. <coughs> this is a big offensive okay, line for uh, the Lions. First and 10. Nice throw and a nice tackle out there. Receiver Pick. was number 10. Jones was the receiver from the freshman quarterback. So there's your first down. This is what uh, Bob John has to do. As Dengler comes out to the Del left, Portes. way out to the left. Team is tight. Laportes hands off inside. And that is the running back. Hune picks up a couple of yards. The ball carrier. So he picked up four yards with me, uh, second and a long six. And of course you have the quarterback is number eight, Della Portas. Peter. He's six foot two, 185, and he's a freshman. Another freshman. Not Another freshman. freshman. This is Jones Jones, goes, Jones is way out to the right. For the Lions. Ward to the left. The Laporte has got to, got to get rid of it. He does. Nice screen. Inside screen. Gets it out there to. Looks like 20. 28. Caught by Hunt. 22. 22. 45. Boone. <laughs> Stirred down and one. It's third down and one. Third and one. <laughs> All right. <laughs> you will get it. And you no, will they stopped him. not get it. He's going to be stopped. He might have been thrown for half a yard loss. He's going to pick up a fourth down. And I Stop think by. at this point, Pope John's going to have to go for it. They got to Wyatt change Hammond the momentum here. Made the stop on that. I, to me, I don't know. I think I would punt. I would call timeout and talk. I don't know. Well, you're, you're right. You're on the 46-yard line. They're going for it. They're going for it. And we have a whistle. Right and, a, and a flag, I beg your pardon. Let's see what happened here. Illegal, illegal oh, substitution. Against, looks like against Paramus Catholic, I think. Oh, no, no, no. They're saying they're uh, a warning to the side. Uh, they're too close to the field. Okay. All right, here we go. This is a big down. Fourth and two. Yeah, big, uh, this is really big for uh, Pope John. And fights his way as Matthews. He, he willed his way those three yards. Yeah, Matthews uh, had seven carries last week. He's a good one. He's a junior. 5'10", 225. Okay. So the, Pope John now gets a uh, new set of downs, first and 10. They're at the 47-yard line. Stop that, the Laportes calling signal, splits to the left, one to the right. The right is Jones, but Laportes calling signal. And we have a whistle. Right on the play. Stops the play. Illegal procedure. Just came to the line of scrimmage. <laughs> oh, they called a timeout before the... Uh, the penalty? The, I think. No, they were, they well, were gonna mark it off. Look at this. The, one the Lions have called their first timeout of the first half. Nope. They called the timeout before the procedure was called. So right. we have 9.41 to go. Paramus Catholic leads 12 to nothing over uh, Pope John the 23rd here on the campus of Paramus Catholic High School. 
You are watching WCTV, the all-volunteer access group from the township of Washington. And we're nine minutes and 41 seconds away from uh, handing out meatball sandwiches, John. Oh, boy. We're going to watch people eat those meatballs. Oh, there look we are. Now, what's going to happen? I, we got these rolls. We're going to open up. We're going to put the meatballs with sauce, some cheese, and our crew will probably drop everything. Look, <laughs> Paul Dilatowski over there. Like he hasn't eaten. They're in, only allowed he, one each. He's only he hasn't eaten in about 15 minutes. Do we have something for Paul? All right, we're ready. First and ten. Dangler comes out to the left. Ward slot. Handoff. Ooh, what a smack inside. I, I could be Matthews running the ball. I tell you, what hitting in this game. That was a good game, though, about four, almost five yards. It was Matthews. So a pickup of five, second and five to go, splits to the right. I was th I was thinking about those meatballs, Larry. I just skipped the play. Jones is out to the right. <laughs> Matthews is the running back. Teleportis is getting signals from the side. You got Matthews in the Look back. At this. Oh my goodness. <coughs> Look at this. Well, Matthews, Matthews got the he ball. Sa he saves the day. Absolutely. John, there must have been so far eight bad snaps between yeah. both teams. Maybe nine bad snaps between both teams. It's just I don't know what I don't know what it's it is. Maybe the ball is slippery. Maybe the ground is something. We've never seen so many bad snaps from both Absolutely. teams. Absolutely. Third and seven. I mean, Della Portis is only a freshman. The late Inside. handoff to Matthews, and he's tripped up as he gets across the 50. So, a fourth down now. Let's see what they do here. Are they going to punt? They got to punt now. Too punt. many yards. You, you oh, I want to see this kid punt now. Oh, he can. He's got a great leg. Oh. Lou, Lou Grosso would love him. No game on the play. So Herlin will punt. What a kicker he is. He punt, He kicked off from the 20, and the ball rolled down to the three. But uh, Paramus Gatlin ran it back <laughs> some 47 yards. Well, sometimes you you kick so far, they you overall the pursuit, and somebody Richard rolls Dante it back Johnson. and scores. Let's see the snap is important. It's Come, a high snap. And now he drops it. <coughs> He's got to kick it. <coughs> He's got to kick it. And he's not <laughs> going to kick it, and he's going to get knocked out of bounds at the tackle 36 yard line. Have you ever seen so many problems with a snap no. coming back in your life? So that was Christian Abram on the stop, along with Wyatt Hammond. You're right, the bad snaps is becoming the whole team. team. And both teams are, are suffering, have been bit with that bug, <laughs> have that bug biting them. The ball came back, he just dropped the ball. Yeah. Well, you know what they say, the first practice in football is the center and the quarterback or the center and the punt. It's one of the key positions. Ah. And there's a lot of both sides have had problems with the snaps. It's like like the ball is slippery. I don't know. I don't know what's going on. <clears throat> I think they're thinking about meatballs. Maybe the meatball's slowing them down. I don't know. Did we, we didn't use some of the sauce on the ball, did we? Well, <laughs> no, I don't think. George is out to the right. <coughs> Snap back. Brinson hits the line and is the drop for a loss. Number 99 on the stop. See, the ball, the was, high the ball was high. Very high. Brinson Number 36. Okay. Now he's thinking about kicking, and all of a yeah, sudden, too late now. two and six says, no way. And Bro number six. Brooks with the tackle. Tackle by Taylor. Jasmine you gotta, Brooks. You got to try to kick that ball right away. Just yeah. get it out of there. But then you're going to have the penalty of a legal man downfield. Oh, it's tough to kick. When that thing happens, it's a disaster. Second and a loss of uh, three, second and 13 now. No, well, calling signals now. Watch. Throws downfield. Intercepted by Matthew. No. That's number two. No. Michael Danucci. Yes, yeah, Danucci's again. Danucci. Who has 10 tackles for the season and an INT. And boy, he went up there and caught oh. that ball and brought it in. He would have dunked the ball. 5'10, 195. Saved the day. Both Pope John and the Lions. 
So Danucci with the interception, now the ball goes the other way. Both teams are making enough uh, mistakes to keep the other team in the game. Absolutely, and no First points is gonna be to safe today. You talk about 12 nothing, a touchdown, a couple oh, of field goals, 13-12. And uh, Matthews still going as he, and he's finally dropped at the 41. Let's see, watch the interception here. All right, as, as number four is ready to pass the ball, Gets the throw, he throws it up. Step in nicely by Danucci, Michael Danucci. And then he comes back several yards across the field. Nice defense by that young man. Teleportes. Good face. face. Throws it downfield, it's gonna be short. And everybody had a shot at that ball. It was intended for number 11, Degler. Ryan Degler. But it had a couple of defenders. Yeah, the pass was a little bit overthrown. He's got a great arm, the freshman. Dela Portis. He could throw. Oh, he's got a great arm. Broken up by number 22, Kennedy. This young man, wide receiver, 5'10", 180. He looks bigger than that. Sure does. Taller than that. Dengler, you mean he does look bigger. Ward and Dengler are out to the, uh, to the left. Nine. Matthews is the running back. What they want oh. throws down field and I mean he throws the ball about five yeah, yards out of bounds. There was nobody open. Nobody threw decided. it away. Yep. Which is you know what? Good play. So the interception goes by the boards. And Herlin's got to come in and punt now for um, Pope John, which is going to be. It, he may put it in the end zone. You don't know what's going to happen. The ball. Oh, the snaps. We should have caught. Uh, name. We should have gotten all the snaps. We had like four, five, six bad snaps. Oh, easy. Here comes Erlen. We don't have our statistician. Wait a minute, we have a whistle and a timeout by Paramus Catholic with six minutes and six seconds to go. They Paul lead 12 nothing over Pope John the 23rd. This you are watching WCTV, the, 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 the old volunteer time. access group in the township of Washington. <laughs> Well, here we go. We're, you're watching the Meatball Classic number three from WCTV and all volunteer. I, I think it's three. Wait, wait, don't know. Those are exclamation points. We don't know. I think we have this a third time, isn't it? Three? No, it's more than three. More than oh, three oh. meatballs. Oh, you know what? The other ones we can't remember. Look at those meatballs going through the WCTV. And you know what? Those meatballs go down like that, but they go down nice and easy. All right, Erlen is going to kick. Here we go. We're waiting for the snap. Let's see if we got another bad snap. Oh, Look at no. this one. <laughs> <laughs> He's got to kick it to the 15. And oh, it's blocked. My. And it's picked up by Paramus Catholic, I believe, on the bottom. And that could be Brooks. Let's see who got the ball. Number six. Brooks. Brooks. Uh, I, I mean, you, you can't make this up. High snap, right? <laughs> then he picks it up, kicks it. I think come Monday, there's <laughs> going to be practice at Bob John the 23rd all afternoon. Snap. Oh, just snappy to the quarterback and snap back out to the uh, pump. Unbelievable. First and 10 from the 15. It, 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 we, don't, we haven't spoken to the coach, they haven't told us, but it could be that there's a, the, the poor center here never played center before and he's asked to do something he's never done. Be like me going down there and snap. Uh, this is <laughs> that ball would be all over the field. So first down on the 15-yard line after the bad snap. <laughs> Unbelievable, Larry. And we uh, have a little offside. <laughs> Here's the playback. It looks uh, like the playback looks like a lot of playbacks. Uh, I want to. Oh, I saw that. <laughs> you know what? You had the picture on the on the center with the center of, look at that block by number six <laughs> on about the 15 16 <laughs> yard line first and ten after that penalty the ball is on the 10 yard line i'm sorry first and five the ball's on the 10 yard you're line. right no well calling signals hands off the brinson breaks one tackle and staggers forward for a couple of yards i got number one 
Chris Sabo to the bottom as he stopped him. And number four, Rodriguez. What a crazy game. And oh, you know, I was watching the center. He was looking at the guy coming in and he really wanted to make sure he got the ball back there. He was gonna get that ball back there no matter what. Even if he had to snap it into uh, but Del Ro Rochelle Park. Yeah. He was trying to get where the chicken coops are on the other side of the uh, scoreboard. Yeah. Second down and three yards to go. Promise Catholic trying to add to their 12 nothing. There's the snap back. The ball is bobbled and we got, it looks like, yes. Pope right John there. gets the ball. 97! Wow, look, look at that. Enough. <laughs> Nicholas DiCenso. He's 5'10, 270. Wow. <laughs> this is unbelievable. A senior defensive tackle. Look at him. He wants to, he's going to eat all our meatballs. <laughs> Right. He saved the Pope day. John gets the ball back now. <laughs> Interceptions, snap overhead, fumbles, back it, turnovers of law. Delaporte throws down, and it's incomplete. It was intended for Jones. <coughs> what a Passes game. Incomplete. Covered you know by Lindo. It's, it's early in the year. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> and you have a lot of freshmen and sophomores playing. Uh, well, that's it. You know, you, you're right, John. A young, lot of young kids playing on both oh, sides absolutely. of the ball. It's their second game. Wow. A safe handoff to Matthews, and he gets over the 20-yard line. Let's see that ball. Let's, let's just see what happens. Let's, let's see what happens. Eyes. Well, it, it was too fast. That's bad. He just took his eyes off. And recovered by 97. Uh, I think he, I think we're gonna send him a, a a meatball right now. Look at him! Oh my God! He almost knocked down that coach. This. Throws out here to Jones. Jones six one. Stays in nice his feet. Move. He's got some room, and he's knocked down. He gets close to the forty yard line. First down. He's nice play. He had number six uh, Brooks with the stop. by Brooks. Tajima Jones. Clock is running. We're under five minutes to go. Pope John. So 12 nothing. <laughs> this young man is gonna become a sophomore pretty soon after two games he's had to play. Look oh! At the, there was a, back, there was a Collision. mix up at both, I think it was Ward and Ooh, Matthews. Yes. Matthews. I think it was Burke and Ward, two guys, I, they just I, banged Matthews into each other. And Ward. Matthews and Ward collided. Just collided. And the ball went up in the air, somehow <laughs> was recovered by Pope John for and, no game. <laughs> and Christian Mahogany stopped the play. <laughs> I'm we're getting been, some good plays. It's been the craziest half we've ever done. We, they're all over the place. Well, it's early for all of us. Matthew. Oh, nice move by Matthew. And Matthew's just shy of the first down. By nine yards. <laughs> Uh, a junior, 5'10", 225. Third down and about a half a yard to go. I think Matthews will get the ball Third on this one. one from the 49. We're under the four minute mark. 338. There goes Matthews, and he falls across the 50 first down. for a first down. <laughs> oh, we got a flag. Uh-oh. I think they, could, let's see, who was the instigator here? <clears throat> Well, 73, Mahogany made the tackle. There had to be some language or something, let's see. Yeah. Somebody said, hi, said, hello. <laughs> let's see what the referee's saying. Personal foul Personal against foul. Paramus Catholic. So they're gonna march off a few uh, steps on them, well, 15 of them to be exact. Catholic. And that ball is going to go down to the 35 yard line with three minutes and 29 seconds. Ball moved to the 35 yard line. So 329 on the 35. And this is big for the Lions. They're roaring. 
Robinson, number 15, comes in, and he's going in the outside receiver. Dengler will run over to the other side. Ward will be in the slot as Dengler goes out to timeout wide receiver. And after I say all of that, Pope John calls a timeout. Timeout, Pope John. This is the Lions' second timeout of the first half. There's your scoreboard. 12 nothing, Paramus Catholic leads. Ah, oh, there we are. Here we are. Oh, Let's see my these goodness. In now. Well, we got to tell them, you know, first of all, I got I got to get my piece of paper. Get your, get your stuff. Now, how come you, you know how to do that? No, I didn't do that. I didn't do that. That, that was Peggy doing that. Look no. how quickly she did it. Well, you know what it is? You want to use pork and beef to make these meatballs. You need ketchup. You need Worcestershire sauce. You need Prego sauce, tomato garlic sauce. You need eggs. How big you make these? cheese. Look at my, my wife's got the best hands in the world. The, 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 yeah. <laughs> she gives me good back rub with those hands. <laughs> Just a back rub. But look at those meatballs. Long pass downfield, he has a man. And it's knocked away at the last second. Hooks no knocked it away. We were into the, we were in the meatballs. What a throw! That was a nice throw. Young man put throw. it down. Incomplete pass intended for Dengler. They took they took their shot. It was open there for a second. The ball was on target, but Hooks came over and broke it up. It would have been a touchdown. Inside handoff. Here we go, and for a couple of yards, and that is going to be. Number four, Rodriguez Ooh, on uh, carry. Number nine, four. I think Chris number Rodriguez nine. Ball carrier. Uh, Jared George made the stop. So it's going to bring up a third and long as we get under three minutes. You're in four down situations here. And you know and I know it. If you're Paramus Catholic, you want to hold them from scoring. Dengler, Ward, Jones are out to the right. They're going to call motion. They're going to call motion on, on Pope John. Two, two wide receivers are in motion. Yeah, you only allowed one. Uh, yeah, this is not Canadian football. <laughs> hey, they're going to call, yeah, backfield in motion. I haven't seen that call in a long time. Nice job by the head referee. That'll that. back him up five yards, bring up a third Thank down at about 11. Against Pope John. So third down, 2.30 to go in the first half. And this young man now, two weeks in a row, he's played a lot of football as a freshman. Number eight, I love his name, Peter De La Portes. Penalty decline. I call him quarterback two. Let's see now, what are they calling here now? This is penalty was declined. They declined the penalty, so it's gonna be a fourth down and Six. five. Fourth and five, with 2.32 to go. <laughs> De La Portes back, looks, throws, almost in. Incomplete, uh, almost uh, intercepted. Devin Willock, number 77, played patty cakes with that ball. Whoa. Look at him. <laughs> number 77, Devin Willock. He's so, a sophomore. So six, now six. Paramus Catholic has two minutes and 25 seconds He's, to go. See what they can, what they can do. You know, you know how big he is? He's 6'6", 320. 6'6", 320. Oh my Ooh. goodness, a sophomore. Oh, he's still growing. Can you imagine how much food? He, he would eat all those meatballs on us today. Yeah, we couldn't give him the meatballs, no. Look at that young man. Number 77. A sophomore. 6'6", 320. No, he may stay 320 for his senior I mean, year, but become more slim and He's slim, less, though. Oh. Imagine and how much food he eats. Hand off to Brinson. He's got a hole. And it closes, but he Broken. crosses away. He's going down the far sideline, and he's on his feet oh, as he crosses the 40-yard line. Looks like number 10, number 10 on the stop. Jones was one of them, but he broke a couple of tackles. 2.14 to go, there's the opportunity for the stop. Paladins. This has been an exciting football game. You know that for us. First and 10 from the 39. It's a, it's a close game so far. Oh, this is anybody's game right now. We're under two minutes. You think maybe they'll practice snapping the centers at halftime? Abraham comes <laughs> out to the right. 
And Bosey is gonna be in the slot. Play on the play. <coughs> too much time? Yeah, it looks like too much time. And they'll back him up, another, another forced mistake. Penalty was delayed. A lot of mistakes, but they're gonna have, have a lot of cleaning up to do come Monday, both teams. Too much, yeah, too much time. I think they may have a lot Delay of cleaning up to do tomorrow, Saturday. Five yard penalty, first and 15 from 44. Oh, this is a beautiful shot right here. Oh, well, looks, has some time. Fires down the middle, he has a man open. Oh, he just misses him through his hands. Intended for number 20. Number 20, Jamel, Jamel Carter. Carter. So Carter, that ball went just over his hands. Great throw. Oh, nice. Nice pattern, too. He was open. Boy, that would have really hurt uh, Pope John if they oh, hit I that one. I was it. impressed with uh, Dorian Noel. The pressure. He's got talent. Oh, he's got. The coach talent. said that he's got a great arm. He's got great legs. He's got a real good future at Paramus Catholic and college. That's my first prediction. That young man's going to get something in college. Brinson comes around the right side, and he is hit at the 40-yard line. Looks like number nine. You know who he is? That's Mr. Ireland Burke, 6'3", 290. Look and at that young man. Wish Rodriguez, 2'10", two, two number four. Tackle by Burke and Rodriguez. I we are still, coming I up to one minute and 10 seconds to go in the half. It is 12-0. Third and 11 from the, the meatballs are ready. Richard 41. Here they are. We're one minute away from our crew devouring them. <laughs> And we're going to give some away to the uh, people up here on the press box. And well, we better coaches, wait for coaches. But we can't do it again because there's a timeout by Paramus Catholic with 49 point nine, nine sec seconds to go. Be third down and 12 yards to go for the Paladins. They lead 12 nothing. This is their second game. Both teams are 0-1. Uh, Hopefully they pick up their first win today. Unless it's a tie. That was the Paladins' third and final timeout of the first half. Ooh, nice little cool. <laughs> Look at this schedule for Pope John. They lost at DePaul kind of convincingly. They're here now against the Paramus Catholic. They play Archbishop, Archbishop Wood. Wood is the team that beat Paramus Catholic. That's uh, down in uh, Pennsylvania. Yeah, Warmest. Then Warmest they come up. here. Then they go to St. Joe's and play St. Joe's. Then, then they go to Don Bosco. Oof. Then Del Barton, their yeah. home, and then Bergen Catholic, which could be, they right now they're boasting of being the number one team. They have St. Peter's here, and they end up with Seton Hall Prep at Seton Hall. That's a tough schedule. Ooh. That is. That's a tough schedule. Wow. Third and 11 from the 41. Wow. <clears throat> you look at that and you go, woof. And you, you can't lose these games early. They do play a tough schedule. Lowell well, well, back, stops, looks, <coughs> and the throw a screen pass to Brinson. He breaks away from one. Nice he's move. Out of open. Nice move <coughs> as he gets in, trying to get out of bounds, and he's knocked out of bounds. He's he crossing ten. the 30 yard line. Jones knocked him out of bounds, but what an effort by that young man. Broke about three tackles. And a first down, 38.3 seconds. So <coughs> I think the clock will start once. No, he got knocked out of bounds. So yeah, okay. once he snapped the ball, first here we go. Vincent was able to get out of bounds, the right thing. He just he just broke a tackle and ran through two two others. So Excellent. first down, 10 yards to go. <coughs> no well calling signal. Has the snap, comes back, looks, fires, incomplete, intended for Brito. <coughs> and Zabo was on the coverage. That didn't take much time off the clock. No, that's a 34-9, left to go in the half. It's been a great game. Exciting for the fans. 
Absolutely. Pulling hair for the coaches with some of these, you know, oh, snaps. And oh, you're a coach. Well, you know, there'll be a good practice. The snap up. comes back as a problem, and he overthrows his man. Intended for number three, number and that would be Javon Thomas. And 18 was in the area. Connor Mills. And they, they were chatting a little bit. <laughs> you weren't going to catch that. A little mosquito so, coming over, Larry. What is that here? Mosquitoes? Oh, yeah. Oh, he wanted thing. you and me. Well, he wants to come for the meatball. Yeah, well, he can't touch the meatball. Look, look at Zatowski. He is oh, ready. I he probably heard we're going to have a we were gonna have meatballs today. Oh yeah. Made the trip from way down south. He's looking, he's looking. So Third it, down and ten now. Noel calling signals. Nice little out here. The Hudson block outside. Hudson. Gotta get out of bounds. Knocked out of bounds. No, they're keeping it on bounds. Oh, the clock is going. Was stopped. Clock is running. The clock Promise Catholic now called. No, someone's injured. That's why the clock stopped. All right, 18.2 we seconds. We have a player down on the field. Uh, we got 18 seconds to go. And we, here's My our God. meatballs. You know, this started with the uh, cannoli bowl a number of years ago. We brought cannolis. And then we, we had, had pizza. Remember pizza? Which cannoli they like the best. So, somehow we don't know how uh, we got involved with the meatball. I think you said your wife makes great meatballs. Absolutely. And we said we'll and bring she does. them up. So these are meatballs here. Oh, they're, right. they're excellent, I'll tell you. Not she does bad. a great Not job. Bad. Took about an hour and a half this morning, the two of us at home. Look at, look at the bubbling in there. Oh, it's nice. And we have it on low, right? Yeah, That's she low. said, make sure it's low. And she said, do not close those two. If not, you're gonna have a big boom. <laughs> oh, look at Peggy. She, oh, look at. My name, Giovanni Ugo Raimondo Romano Francola. Isn't that a Roman, Roman yeah. god? That's a <laughs> meatballs and cheese. Oh, look at that, five, we can't put five meatballs on We put right. five meatballs, we're gonna have eight gonna sandwiches. <laughs> look up there. Zatowski's packing up. <laughs> <laughs> Paul Zatowski's over here. He's, oh. he's packing up his stuff there, look at that, he's ready to come. He's getting closer and closer to the meatball. We're gonna have to have a guard up here to protect us. Because <laughs> they're gonna jump right over to get the meatball. Paramus Catholic has elected to kick a field goal. And wait a minute, now we have another timeout. Uh-oh. They just don't want the meatballs to be served. That's what it is here. That's it. So, so John now oh, John. calls a timeout. So this we'll is take, a heck of a kick So boy will come out to try the field goal. He, I think he's got the length to do it. 41 yards. Look at the cheerleaders, Larry. All right, let's listen to them. They're well, from that's Pope it, John. they're done. That was quick. Well, they didn't want you to listen. <laughs> <laughs> you see that? They said that guy up there wanted us to go further. Forget him. Well, time is in now as we get ready for a 41-yard field goal. Its angle is to the left. Josh Zamora, a sophomore, who will attempt to kick. Now, uh, he's got the leg. There's no doubt about it. Oh, my without mind. a doubt. And I think a timeout was called just to make sure they don't try that fake uh, kick again. So oh. we'll kick it. It's long enough. It's good. It's good. I think. He put it through. 41-yarder. And that is a weapon. So, with 13.9 seconds to go, 15 to nothing. And that was by 10 Paramus feet. Catholic over Pope John the 23rd. What a kick by that young man from Paramus Catholic. Paladins extend their lead, 15 0. What a leg that young man has. Ooh. Zamora. And it made it by a lot. By 10 yards. That would have been a 51 yarder. The Giants could use him. Oh, <laughs> we'll see Sunday. So we got the kickoff here. How about that? Zamora, what a kick. Rodriguez and Warren back to receive. Look at that mosquito here, Larry. Whoa, that's a big one. That's a dead Ooh. one. <laughs> that's an F-15 mosquito. I got it. Uh, that's an F-15 oh, that mosquito. Oh, that would have taken. Just Zamora to kick. That would have taken all my blood. Whew. Look at that shot. That was, a, that was the one flying around before. Yeah, but you see how big it was? Woo. All right, Zamora comes forward. He's a sophomore. 
And he punches one way up in the air. And it's taken. This is uh, Rodriguez. And Rodriguez is not. It's still going. going. They got him out of bounds, I think. They got him out of bounds. They ain't gonna stop it. They're, They're gonna, gonna stop it. They, yeah. We gotta see this one again, but we're not yeah. gonna be able to see him stepping we're, out of bounds. We're gonna take a look at this one, but Rodriguez got a great run. What? They're gonna, they're gonna say he went out at the fucking 45 yard line with five Larry, seconds to go. what speed. Five foot nine, 210 pounds. He took it. Now he brought the crowd to its feet. Oh my God, the, the fans over here were dancing. Let's watch Look it. Look at his kick, and now he's gonna get That's it on. On about the 13 yard line. And this is Rodriguez. Now watch the speed. Gotta watch his feet, folks. There's he's one okay foot. there. He's good. Whoops. Oh, he's all right. There's good. 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 No, there it is. The Not left good. foot. Good call by the official. Caught it. Barely out, but now out. Cortez going to fire it downfield. He does, and caught. He caught it with no time on the clock. Whoever has it, clock time has run out. Oh no! Oh, there's a flag. Two flags. Two flags. Yeah. Now let's see what they do here. <laughs> it was caught by eleven. Flag on the play. By by Ward. Now a play cannot end on a defensive penalty. A half can't end on a defensive penalty. So there probably one more untimed play. Yep. If it is defensive uh, penalty. Let's see. <coughs> penalty, personal foul against Paramus Catholic. Personal foul, oh, they offset. And that's it. Both teams. Offsetting penalties. Offsetting penalties. And see. So that should end the half. Hey, Will. I believe Ward was the one that. Uh, so the score is 15 uh, nothing at half. Paramus Catholic uh, leads. Watch our shows on the internet at WCTV. You can follow us at WCTV.us. All of our games will be on that uh, link there. It'll be on our website. So follow us on the internet. Okay. All right, everybody come and eat. at Paramus Catholic High School where they lead 15 to nothing over John, Pope John Paul the 23rd. 
Here comes Herlin Kick, and we are off in the second half. First half was marred by a lot of panel, a lot of mistakes, like <coughs> fumbles and poor snaps. This is Rodriguez, and he is going down the go. side. And they're going to say he stepped out of bounds on the other bounds side. Again. Larry, quickly on first half scoring. We started off with, in the first quarter, 30-yard field goal by Zamora, then a two-point safety. And then, Larry, that made it five. Then we had a, another field goal. We had a touchdown, I'm sorry, a touchdown. 16-yard touchdown for seven Four points. points. And then we had a 41-yard field goal, making it 15 first to nothing half. in the first half. So first and 10 now for the Lions. And a handoff inside for no gain. Let's see if that's, uh, you know, you lose their numbers because you're so far away. Well, that was number three. three. Number three for who? Matthews no, for the white. No, that was you, number 22 with the run. We mentioned before the uh, half that our, uh, you can watch all of our games on our website, wctv.us. And there are... And there's links on our website as Yoon goes going, and he's knocked down as he gets across the 50-yard line and a penalty. <laughs> a high tackle. That's going to be, yeah. Uh, uh, they're going to add a few more yards to yeah. uh, Yoon's run. Also, yep. you could watch this on OPTV. That's Oradell Public Television with Nitz Bessink running the whole show there in Oradell. And they he puts our games on, our shows on at 4 p.m. every day. So we want to <laughs> say hello to everybody in Oradell who's watching the game, courtesy of Nick. And thank you so very much. How's that, Nick? Pretty good? Nick is shaking his head. You know, the, the young men from Pope John are really starting to accelerate right now. Their movement, that was a, uh, a face mask that added 15 yards to that play. You know, John, we got a lot of people watching us in Oregon. Oh, it's a great town. Oh, yeah. Nick has this. My daughter shows. lives in First House in Oradell. Oh, Nick also has some shows being picked up by Vermont, of all places. Here's uh, Matthews. He's going to the 35-yard line, still going. Gets across the 35 and through a first down, maybe. That was unbelievable. That was a scrum there. And that was uh, Nafis Matthews. He's a heck of a runner. So Matthews picks up a first down. He wouldn't go down. I don't know what the coaches told these kids, but boy, they came out with, with fire in their belly. Here well, we they, go. First and 10. They knew we had meatballs up here. They wanted oh, to win the game. Oh, those meatballs. What? We got just two sandwiches, and we have a penalty. Against Paramus Catholic. Yeah, it looks like it's going to be offside. Five more yards. Does a nice job, this referee, the white hat. Head referee. Well, we never got the names of the referees today. Well, maybe we'll get it before the quarter's over. Yeah. But they're doing a great job, you know. They're facilitators right now. Nobody's questioning their call. And first, it's a tough game. First in, sec first in five. Matthews. It's a fumble. And I think, yes, Paramus Catholic has it. Matthews fumbles. Number he nine. The line. Number nine. Jared George called his name a lot. Jared George on we, the recovery. We call his name quite a bit. So Pope John coming down with a lot of uh, energy, little momentum, and they fumble the ball. Yeah. Well, it's a big turnover. So now they're gonna be on, what, the 27, 28 yard line. So now, Paramus Catholic will take over. They lead 15 to nothing. We started things in the third quarter. This is the meatball get ball. Some 40, some 40 meatballs went south over quickly. Over 40. <laughs> over 40, John says. Yep, over 40. Noel calling signals. Hands off the Brisson. And he's tackled from behind. <laughs> Looks like 99. Some, some helmet come flying out. They got some big guys. You know, we have Brinson's helmet come flying. Over. He's got to. Taylor. He's got to get off the field. He, one play. That was John 99. Was you know, this team between 99 is 5'10", 245. 97 is 5'10", 270. 94 is 6'2", 225. And then I got 95, 285. 
That was Johnson who lost the helmet, number 25, not Brinson. He's got to come out for a play. Second and 11. I will call signals, has time, looks downfield, fires downfield, and it's almost caught. Almost caught. Oh! Almost. Brito was there. Also, Rodriguez was in the, uh, in the way for. Uh, Great throw that time by the quarterback. For Pereira, uh, for John. Dorian, Dorian Norwell is heck of a quarterback for a freshman. But that was a nice play by uh, Rodriguez. He put his hand up, interfered with the vision of Brito. He's a great, great ball player, number four. Yeah, he is. He can play. He plays strong safety, 5'9", 210. Look at him. And he's a senior. He looks, he walks like a senior. Huh? Oh, yeah. He's got the yellow, he's got a yellow different than anybody else. That's a heck of a tail. What color is that? Oh, that's not, it's that's like not yellow. Yellow and green. Oh mixed. yeah, it's a greenish yellow, yeah. Greenish yellow. It, no, on TV it looks like, it looks more yellow than green. It could be our color. Time out, Paramus Catholic. This is the Paladins' first time out of the second half. <laughs> now Paramus Catholic, they lost to West, um, West Catholic, Pennsylvania. They're playing Pope John. Next week, it's Hackensack. Um, here, then they go to Seton Hall Prep. Then St. Joe's makes a visit here on the 28th. DePaul, I'll tell you what, I gotta go see DePaul on the, I may come to see that game. Well, when they get the, it. That's <laughs> the game I wanna come it. and see. Uh, the 12th, they play at St. Peter's. Then a big game at Bergen Catholic on the 20th. And they end here with Don Bosco. There's not too many easy. No, both teams have a tough, tough schedule. You got to get your wins when you can. Oh, there it is, Lou. He come, he's had one meatball or two meatballs. Hey, it looks like <laughs> four, four meatballs. meatballs. <laughs> looks like it's sunny up there. Third. It looks sunny. All that light looks like it's sunny. Third so, down. Here's a handoff. Abraham. And he's and they're going to call a penalty. That was 90 on the stop. Lewis Montana. Tackled by Lewis Montana. Let's see what the penalty is. Let's see. Holding against Paramus Catholic. It's going to be declined. Going to bring up a fourth and long. So they will uh, bring in their punter, punter. who will be uh, Mr. George. Jared George, who is a freshman. And now, let's see how the center does centering the ball to the kicker. Well, they got, they have uh, Rodriguez back again. George gets a snap, which is not, <laughs> which is a great feat. Rodriguez has it. Going around the left side, he has a block. He can run. He's to the 50. And he gets up to the 45 where he's thrown back and where Stop Pope John the 23rd will take over first and 10. Wyatt Hammond on the stop that time, number two. I tell you what, we haven't had any rain. Are we lucky tonight? At all? Oh, this is perfect right now. Rain you is know what? Ooh. The temperature is around 70 degrees and it's not really, you don't feel that heavy moisture. We have a new uh, director, a new member of WCTV, Vincent Sakadana. He is our technical director tonight. He's working the, uh, the screen. How much money is he getting? Oh, we paid a lot of money <laughs> to get him out of Seton Hall. <laughs> we, we broke the bank. <laughs> Incomplete, intended out there for Ward. This, uh, Vincent Sakadano is our technical director. We don't get a shot of him, can we? Hey, let's, let's see. see. Ah, there he is. <laughs> Whoop, yep. There, oh, there he, he is. is. He's reaching across. See? Now your family knows where you are all, all, all night. You know, he could have said he was with us. Maybe he went out on a date tonight. Yeah. So he's been with us tonight. Young man running. That was a scrum. That looks like 22, Hearn. Santa. Oh, oh, he's with, with Ida, huh? With Ida. He's a date with Ida. Look at this, boy. Oh. He likes that. Vito's oh, going to oh, be oh, upset. Oh, <laughs> you know, Ida, when Vito sees that, he's going to be upset. He says, Ida, you're my only dream. Oh, Vito. <laughs> Throws. 
Ward has is a block out here for him, and Ward falls to the 30 yard line. Nice block out there by number 11, Ringler. And he had number six making the reception, number six tackling him. Oh, that, was a nice, that was a nice developing play where the one wide receiver, Ryan Dengler, you know, blocked for Ward. And a first down. And he made a first down. You know, they've been starting to move first here. From the 32. Yeah, they fumbled the last time, they were moving. Oh, the yeah, line is really opening up. Uh, ball might have been tipped. By 18. Yeah, that ball came in there. Milks. Well, no, 18 for uh, Mitchell. Miles Mitchell. Miles like Smith. I like that Miles, name, Miles, Miles Mitchell. Mitchell. I'm impressed with this freshman quarterback, by the oh, way, number yeah. eight. You know? He's got a strong arm. Tough to, tough to play here as a freshman. And what well, teams he's going to have to face if he has to continue oh, to play. God. Matthews. To Push. number three, Matthews. Whoa. So Matthews pushes his way inside the 30 down to about the 27. Bring up a third and and five as we look at the Pope John cheerleaders. Doing a nice job. And Jared George was the tackler in the last play. So 749 in the third quarter in an excellent game. No, no bad snaps. This <laughs> half. This half. Oh, that's Matthews. It. Still on his feet. Oh, now it's a scrum. Still that's on his feet. Scrum. Look at number eight pushing from the back. Oh, he could do that. That's the quarterback. Looks like it's going to bring up a fourth and very short. That was Matthews that? with the short yard. This is crap. This is the crowd trying to get into the snack bar, and that means Paul Zatowski's got to fight his way through all those people. <laughs> Fourth and one from the 23. Hey, I didn't get my empanada. I ordered an empanada. I guess you'll have to. Uh, we have one meatball each. Yeah, that's it. You made 43 meatballs. We were able to get one each. And we ate it by our With our hands. hands. <laughs> As Matthews <laughs> falls Matthews forward to the 20, <laughs> to 15, and a first down. A lot of mojo coming the way of Pope John, the 23rd. Spotting the ball on the 19. 19. He bounced a little bit. For Pope John, first and 10 from the 19. Could you imagine that, what was said in the, in the halftime in, in, with the coach? No mistakes. Another nice run oh, there. Play. There's Matthews. And he falls across <laughs> the 15 to the 13. Matthews, the ball carrier. Stopped by number two, Wyatt Hammond. Number three, Nafis Matthews, a junior, 5'10", 225. We have an injured uh, Paramus Catholic player down. And here's your scoreboard, the time, Paramus Catholic leads 15 to nothing. You are watching WCTV, the old volunteer Texas group from the township of Washington. You can watch all our shows on the internet on WCTV. You go to WCTV.us. And uh, also is seen also on the internet on OPTV. That's Oradell Public Television, courtesy of their all, uh, all around men, does it all, Nick Besson. Look at the spread out, spreading out a little bit. Yeah, second down now and five yards to go. I believe Old Japan knocked off Ridgewood if I get my uh, number. I mean, have a penalty. Flag on the play. Five yards, I think, against the uh, Yeah, against uh, the Lions. The Lions. The Lions, yeah, they're backing them up. I've been told by Nick that I, I didn't mention that OPTV will show WCTV's shows at 4 p.m. Second and 10. Daylight saving time. On Nick's server, you can catch it. Pass downfield, and we have a flag coming in late. Yeah, yeah it looks see. like on number ten. That was uh, Jones. They're going to call it interfer uh, pass interference. Yeah, Jones. Jones was the receiver. Number there 10. were three players around and only one Defensive lying around. Paladins had it surrounded, and somehow they got tangled up, and they're going to call a penalty on the Paladins. 
So it's going to move it up a little bit. Yeah. First the, down. The, it's not like the pros where you get it. It's a spot foul. You get the yardage. So they move it up. And it will be. Looks like second down. It'll be first and goal. On the nine. Okay. <coughs> Jesus. Hey, Bob, oh. he loses the ball. He loses, and, he, and it looks like, who's got it now? Ball got it back. Oh, he got it back. Can you believe Rodriguez. this? Rodriguez. Rodriguez is running around the left side and just dropped the ball. I think somebody's putting something on that football. I want, I'm going down and check that ball. I've never seen so many bad snaps. Ball's coming back. Quarterback's not able to hold it. Guy's dropping the ball. I tell you, the intensity of this game has been great, though. Both teams have been playing their hearts out out there. A lot of uh, miscues, you know. That's what keeps the game interesting. Oh, we love it. Teleporters looks, looks, fires downfield. Intended for... Number 10? Yeah, number 10 down there, Jones. And the ball was thrown to the outside, and he was running to the inside. That's the old ins inside, outside. 6 two, 200. Let's this is a see. Nice team. They're going to send out. Looks like they're field going to send goal. out the field goal kicker. Oh, he does both. Thirty-six, I believe. Fourth and eleven. Herlin. Herline. Herline, number thirty-six. Not. He got. He team. has the leg too. He's got so, very good leg. So boy, they're two good kickers here. Twenty-six, thirty-six yard field goal. Thirty-seven, give it. Snap is down. Kick is up. It's going to be short and to the way to the left. So the field goal fails, and with five minutes, nine seconds to go, Paramus continues to lead 15 to nothing over Pope John the 23rd. Please contact with your comments and suggestions. We are all volunteers. We don't realize that. W Senator WCTV, Care of the Municipal Complex, 350 Hudson Avenue, Washington Township, 07676. Our phone number is 201-664-9821. Yeah, some Mrs. Gray Caller will give you the recipe, or you can talk to the Erskine Flash Gene Dunger recipe. <laughs> we can also catch us on our website, www.wctv.us. And of course, we're on OPTV. No calling signals. <laughs> looks, looks, has time. Throws out here, has his man. It's been. <laughs> <coughs> and he is first down. First down as he fights out of bounds. Pass to Wheaton Brinson. So Brinson gets uh, knocked out of bounds. And oh no, they can say continue the clock. It was forward to stop. Forward to stop. Anyway. And that was Rodriguez who made the stop or pushed Second him out of bounds. Two for the stop the play, as they say. Look at number nine, how big he is. My God, that young man. Ireland Burke, 6'3", 290. He's all muscle, though, Larry. Look at that muscle. Rose goes out to the uh, left. We have splits to the right. We have splits to the left. No one calling signals. Looks now, throws, has his man. And Ambrose gets, that's number 16. Playing on the play. Could be against Lord Leary. Paramus Catholic, and a I flag think. on, there's been umpteen flags. This is when you have, I believe. Holding, holding against. You have, you have young players, Catholic. sophomores, freshmen. Oh yeah, you expect that. But that's how a drive ends quickly. You know, John, we're in the uh, third quarter. Holy. 4-12 to go. 4-3 to go, and we already played two hours. There's been a lot of penalties. Oof. A lot of fumbles. Look at the cheerleaders going. They keep going, the Paramus oh, Catholic they do cheerleaders. A nice These are award-winning cheerleaders. Every year they uh, play, they're in competition, and they do very, very well. Heather yeah. does a nice job she with that. She does them. a great job, and she can cook. Yeah, she makes that taco soup, and whew. Oh, Brinson around the right side. He's got some room, and he's upended as he crosses the 30 to the close to the 35-yard line. Smooth runner, number 28. I like the way he runs. You know, Larry? Tyshawn Brinson. 
Uh, somebody's got little, your Looks ankles. like Rodriguez down there is injured. He'll, he'll be fine. Uh, we'll wait for him to uh, get up, and he does. He's fine. That's first down. So you're what? You got first down. First and 10 from the 34. On the 34. Here we go. Brent, no one calling signals. Fakes, looks, rushed. Gets away from one play. Looking, looking, looking. Look away, he's traffic. communicating. Goes downfield, no good. Intended <laughs> down there. They're looking at a couple of hits there. I can't tell who it was intended for. So far away, the numbers No, are you know what it was, Larry? They were two guys <laughs> both knocked down. The one coach is saying, what's going on? Yeah, These are receivers. Jones, Jones hit the would-be receiver out of bounds. There he is, number 10. He's a nice looking ball player, Mr. Jones. Oh, look at nice shoes. Look at the shoes. Oh, gold that's a nice shoes. shoes. I love gold. Oh, I, w I would get those. That's probably what I should do. Both of them got them. Look at the two of them. Mm. 23 and 10 with nice shoes. Second down now. Oh, call signals. Hands off to Brunson. He's running hard around the right side. Oh, Jones what a jump! A and goes back out of bounds First down. around the 45 yard line. Brinson the ball carrier. He was a hurdler. Ty Sean Brinson, a junior. 5'10, 200 pounds. He's got a pair of wheels. Wheels will travel. <laughs> My goodness, Brinson he better put some gold line. shoes. That's first down. He gets the ball and, he, and he's in high 25. speed so quickly, Larry. Oof. He, you know, he run, the minute he gets the ball, he's in he fourth gear. He accelerates. He's in fourth gear, he's running. We gotta see his size. Miles Mitchell is out to the left. 200 pounder. Oh yeah, and he's a junior. One of the few juniors. Oh, look at there he goes again, this time inside for some powers he crossed yards. the 40. For Sean Brinson, the ball carrier. Well, now they're giving him the ball. He's well, now, accelerating. Yeah. He looks like he's, uh, he's, he's in a groove here now. He yard game, second and two from the 37. Second Mitchell is two. out to the left. Let's see if they give it to him again. Here he is, no, he's and a, he's, he's not a back. Sophomore. The only thing he might do yeah, I'm on a practice is not run so stand straight up. Got to bend over a little bit. But he picks up a first down, so he knows what he's doing. Brought down by Miguel Lopez. What a what a player. He's tired. Johnson replaces him. Five yard gain, first down. Now we'll call in signals. Yeah. <laughs> out here <laughs> to Leary and Leary gets across the 30 to the 27 yard line yeah stopped by number Jones <laughs> well, <laughs> a lot of mojo right now for uh, Paramus Catholic now they're moving the ball smartly down the Paladins the Brinson is in Johnson's out for Paramus Five Catholic <laughs> The you gotta give it to. Jordan from Fort Lee High School is doing the uh, public announcing here at the Paramus Catholic. He's doing a nice job. Johnson. Ah, great job. Gets to about the 25 yard line. He's scoring for those couple of yards. Sable did a great there. job that time to stop him. You gotta stop him, you gotta go down stop low on him. So what are we, this young man, Dorian Noel, what a, what a player. He's a freshman, guys. Westwood is leading Doom on 26-20. Oh my goodness. With, um, in the third quarter. <laughs> wow, what a game that is. This one here has been a very good game. 15 to nothing, but a lot of excitement. Bad snap, picked up by Noel, he's running for his life, and he throws the ball, it's caught. He, no, they're saying incomplete, he dropped the ball. Uh, it was a great job by number one, Sabo that time to knock the ball out. 
John, I got some reports from the great Brian Carr about the Westwood game. Westwood, uh, Tyler Giordano, a kickoff return touchdown to go up 26-20 over uh, Dumont. Uh -huh. And Old Penn knocked off Ridgewood 27-13 uh, at Old Penn. That message came from the great Brian Carr. Well, that's good. You know, giving us games. So that's a great game in uh, Dumont. And there's still a lot of play, 26-20. Both teams have the opportunity to win that game. You're down by six at home. Next week, we'll be in Westwood to see Westwood take over take Ramsey. Over Ramsey. The Ramsey Rams come in. Scott Tyerman, he one will of the be coaches there. there. Yep. Second, that's fourth down, I beg your pardon. Noel looking, throws, has his man, gets away. Leary, step and that's enough for a first down, I believe. I thought he stepped out of bounds, but no, he didn't. So that's Troy Leary, another freshman. Brought down by number 16, Anthony Holmes. <laughs> that's first down. We got that report uh, people are asking from uh, the great Brian Carr. Uh, Ida wants me to say the name Brian Carr, so I'll bite. Brian Carr. All right, then she says, wait a minute, as the third quarter comes to an end. All right. One more, one more time. Make believe I said nothing, everybody. Okay, just make believe. Hey, Brian Carr just told us that 26-20, Westwood leads Dumont. She didn't get that She didn't get that in either. She's trying to get a little, some, some uh, little graphics in. She can't get it in. Okay, we played three quarters here at Paramus Catholic High School. It is 15 to nothing, Paramus Catholic, it's over for John the 23rd. You are watching WCTV, the old volunteer access group from the township of Washington. Okay, it's first and 10 now for Paramus Catholic and head off and they're gonna call a motion against Paramus Catholic. Yep, on the outside. We're waiting for scores to come in, but from Brian Carr. There we got it. <laughs> I hope you people out there understand what I have to go through. I got to set up four different times to get beep, beep. Then I'll make it first down and 15 from the 19-yard line. First and 15. Uh, <laughs> beep, 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 beep. That was the ramble. That was, that, a oh, that was a great song. Beep, 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 beep. He's the home rambler, with beep, 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 beep. Yeah, the Rambler. The little Rambler. The little Dodge, the little Dodge Nambler, yeah. See Second that? down and another bad snap. Picked up on the well. Throws downfield. He has the man down here. And incomplete. The ball rolls out of bounds. Intended for. Incomplete. Nice job by Holmes with him. Young man. I don't know who that was intended for. I'm sorry, is that Holmes 16? Yeah. yeah he's Anthony Holmes, he's got one INT for the season. Yeah, he's coming out. Got to tweak his ankle there. 5'10", 170, a senior. <laughs> so, so Dorian Noel, the quarterback for Paramus Catholic has his uh, <coughs> Play from the bench, Coach Whitehead. Ward comes out, Second Ambrose three. comes out to the right. Time and out. we have a timeout for uh, Paramus time Catholic. With 11 this minutes and 52 second seconds to go in the half. game, Paramus Catholic leads 15 to nothing over Pope John the 23rd. Let's see the cheerleaders for the Paramus Catholic. Well, they have about 120. <coughs> Young every ladies year. on the entire roster. And, and you really have to be in shape. They're in competition every year. And you have to be in shape. They run, they exercise. These young ladies, they win a lot of tournaments. Yeah, they, they, they do a lot of work, a lot of practice. Look at that, look at, they got probably over 100. Yeah. And they, they have a band. You got one young man there, part of the uh, cheerleaders. You need one to. Oh, he's got his uh, megaphone out there. He's yelling, I want meatballs. <laughs> <laughs> they, 
There's two. Got a couple there, huh? Two. Anybody else? <laughs> John would like to be a, a cheerleader at that age. <laughs> I like to be up on top of the pyramid. Yeah, yeah, they're going to hold you up there. <laughs> I can do a flip from up there. Yeah. Yeah. Another bad snap, and we have another whistle. Flag on the play. <laughs> and a flag comes in. How many, how many penalties? Got to be 15 penalties and about 20 poor snaps. And Motion. All, all right calls, Both by the way. Offense. <laughs> These guys have done a great job. Well, Paramus Catholic is uh, has a shutout going. Second and 20. 11 49 to go. The ball 20. is on the 24. They got to get it down to the 7. 6, 5, 4. 20 yards to go. George in motion. Number 28. Vincent has the ball, and he's going to pick up a number of those yards as he gets to about the just 12 outside yard line. the 10. Yeah, down to the 12 yard line. Uh, I'm trying to pick up the one young man who finally stopped him. He's getting up very slow, gingerly. Number one, he's made a lot of tackle, Chris Sabo. Right now, the defense of uh, Pope John's got to start getting a little tired. They've been on the field a long uh, time, and a flag comes in. Another flag. Let's see what this is going to be. Yeah, back in Paramus Catholic up. Wow, there's a lot of penalties. Illegal substitution. Illegal substitution. And here we go again. Third and 13. Oh, they say 12. I, I think it's 13. Oh, I'll make it 13. Looks 13 to me. That's a long three. Third and 13. No, another field signals. goal. We're going to have another field goal here, by the think way. Think so? Yep, unless he I goes. Know. I don't know. Ooh, that was a hit. For number wow. four, Rodriguez made a house call. Jamel Carter was coming around the uh, right end, and he was hit. By and boy, what a sweet. Everybody heard that and saw that. And yeah, he's going He's going out. Jamel Carter, the ball Andy and Broy. Wow. Stop by Rodriguez. Oh, look, here we got another field goal. Here we go. Here we go. 26, 36 yard up. Now he made one. Make. Samora will try. This is a sophomore. He made two. <clears throat> Already. Yeah. One was nice and long, 41. Kick is up, and it's going to be way to the left. He had the distance, but it went to the left. So the PAT fails with 10 15, 15 to nothing. Paramus Catholic. Over. Pope John the 23rd. Thank you for watching. We are all volunteers at WCTV, the all community television from the township of Washington, Bergen County, New Jersey, and for John's families in Italy, the United States of America. All four of those people watching over the <laughs> breakfast table. Handoff. You know, I tell you, Pope John did very well between the, the 30s and the 30, you know, 30 yard line. But once they get inside the 30, it fell apart. And I tell you what, except for a couple of plays here and there, same thing with the um, Oh yeah. Paramus Catholic. So these young men, I mean, what a game. I mean, you talk about hitting, a lot of penalties. They do hit, wow. Oh my God, are they hit. And a penalty comes well, flying well, well. in <laughs> from the far side. As you brings it up to the 30 yard line, motion against old Pope John the 23rd. So Jacob Yoon. So Yoon, pick, nice pickup, going to be negated by a motion. 9.46 to go in a game. In a long game. I guess. Well, you know what? They extended halftime for us. Yeah, they because, did. Because of all the meatballs that had to be eaten. Second and 15. So we thank him for that. Hewn again. He picks up about eight, nine yards, gets across the 25 yard line. We're under 10 minutes to go in the game. He's coming out, young man. 
Mayun comes out and Matthews is going in. Third and five from the 25. In comes a 5'10", 225. Oh. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. I got to clean up the mess I just made. <laughs> Hand off inside Matthews. A couple of yards. Going to bring up a fourth down. Now it's he just pushed on the uh, cover. <laughs> fourth and three from the 27. So it's going to bring up a three. fourth and three as I clean up the uh, You know, I'm going to I'm gonna have to clean that pot. Oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> John's going to have to clean this pot. When you go home, you're going to have some job cleaning this pot. We know it is. We have an insert that we can give it up. Jones is out to the left. And we have another... You First know what? Down. As the game, yeah. As the game goes on, we get more and more penalties. Yeah, so it would be a penalty and that's gonna be for against first down. That's going to be against Paramus Catholic, and that should be enough for the first down by a yard. What do you by think, John? 15, 20 penalties in this game, both at, teams. At least. He's right. What do you think? Fifteen bad snaps. Oh, yes. First and ten from the thirty-two. But you know what? The intensity of both teams were tremendous. I think. They played very hard. I mean, they played hard. I mean, they made mistakes, but each team is trying their hardest. But the penalties just slowed the game down. Yeah. Laporte wants to throw down for Wrangler. No good. Incomplete. Nice job by 23. Lindo? Oh, Saki Lindo. I like that name, man. Huh? Saki Lindo. And then was 26 over there, too, uh, Jalen. Jalen Rutherford. Brian Carr. Huskies lead West with 27 26. Seven minutes left. Cards went on the fourth and five and, and got it. Here is a run around the side by Yoon. And he's tripped up as he crosses the 45 yard line. Michael Ortiz on the stop. Stop by Kennedy. Seven minutes left in the Westwood game. It's 27-26, Dumont, and Brian Carr is reporting this for WCTV. Brian Carr. Good down and four. <laughs> she got to go faster when we say Brian Carr. That's why right, I have one. Seen. Has Jones open, and Jones falls to the 50-yard line. Stop by number five, Christian Abram. How do you like that game over there, John? That's a tough game. 27-26. Then I'll bring up first and 10 from midfield. A lot of time in that game, seven minutes. Yoon, around the right side, crosses the 45. I stopped by number two, uh, Wyatt Hammond uh, for the Paladins. Now, this is what Pope Pope John has done two, maybe three times during the game, and then they have a problem when they get deep into the territory. They uh, fumble, snaps, fumble, snap over the guy's three. head, quarterback's head. And the put they want, throws. Incomplete, intended for Jones, nearly intercepted. Incomplete. That was 53 on the potential interception. John Lyon the third. That'll make it third down and I like two. that, John Lyons the third. And he put down one of the Lions. <laughs> you know Brian Carr's going to Italy on Monday? Yes, I know. He was he was asking me about where to where to Third down, go. hand off to Hun. He's around the left side. He has a hole as he falls across the 35-yard line. Helmet comes off. Someone's got to come out. So Wyatt 22. Hammonds lost his Wyatt helmet, Hammond so he's got to come out for a play. Jacob Yoon did a nice job on that run. Great blocking up front. This is the way Pope John looked at the first That's series of the second half. Very crisp. And then they <laughs> just then fumbled the ball. happens, yep. Time throws, overthrows his man. Intended for Ward, I believe. There was five uh, Ramis Catholic players around the play at that ten. time. Yeah, young man's got a cannon of an arm. We don't know how long the, the senior will be, uh, but this kid can play. Nice size. Eyes of Brown. 
Rhodes to his left. Looks, looks, throws. Incomplete and then for Ward again. 22 did a great job. King Kennedy. Kenneth Kennedy, double K. Third down. We're looking at a third and 10. Like you're saying, there we go again. Couple of plays. They look good in the middle of the field and then I don't know what happens. They just lose their focus. Got to go two plays here. Two plays here. You need a score. Not even a passing situation. Blitz. <laughs> and it's intercepted. intercepted. There it 53. is. 53. Flying the Come third. That, uh, again. Flying. <laughs> this is the mo this is the MO of Pope John all all night. They play well for five, six, seven plays, eight plays, and then they turn the ball over or they snap the ball. Look at him, look at him! There he is. Nice play by him. So all Paramus Catholic has to do now is get a couple of first downs and run this uh, clock down and get out of here with a hard fourth, fifteenth and nothing win over the great John. one. Let's see what let's see if they can hang on to the ball. <laughs> There's been umpteen turnovers, umpteen penalties, and umpteen poor snaps back. But you know, that's this, what made this an interesting game for us. It's a great game. For us, it's been excellent. Oh, great game here. Great camera work. This great is uh, Johnson. He gets up to the 40. Now, Coach Whitehead, who's back again. We didn't mention that Coach John Whitehead is back after uh, being away for 10 years. Uh, and he's here. And he's putting this program together slowly from the bottom up. He's, like I said earlier in the game, in the introduction, he's looking at the big picture and the long haul. So what he's going to do now is he's going to uh, keep the ball on the ground and try to bleed as much as his six minutes off the clock as he can. And he's got a lot of underclassmen, no seniors, a lot of freshmen and a lot of sophomores that are starting. And there's Johnson going around the left side and he's fighting bring up a third down let's see if he runs it here you're gonna run 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 plays get a couple of first downs and we can deliver a couple of more meatball no Stop that's the offensive like quarter that's Gary Nova he's the offensive that's Gary Nova yeah. third down and four there he is. <clears throat> played at Don Bosco Rutgers <laughs> yeah very well he's the offensive coordinator at the Paramus County outstanding young man we saw him play at Don Bosco, not at Rutgers. I saw uh, Coach Whitehead on Wednesday's call talk highly of his coaches. Johnson will get close to the 50, but not enough for a first down. He had to get two to 46. And it looks like they're gonna kick here. We're gonna try to find Coach Whitehead on the other side. Let's see if we find him. Can't be hiding. No. no. Go back the other way. You gotta go. The John Dimes. We're gonna find him. Pope John. There he there is, right he is, there. With the light colored hat. In the middle of the two people. That's John Whitehead. He was here up 207. He left, and now he uh, was asked you to know take what over. He reminds me of a, a person who's got a big boat, and he's the he's the skipper of the boat. Gilligan's Island would be a place. <laughs> so that's John Whitehead. We had a wonderful discussion, John and I did, on a conference call Wednesday afternoon for about 30 minutes. Went over what his plans are. It's a long, uh, long view. He's got a young team, and he's looking to the future. 4.30 to go, Larry. The he's great Brian great Cars job. coming across with some more scores. Here comes the kick. Snap comes back, nearly blocked. Straight up in the air, the ball bounces. And it's gonna be down on a 37 yard line. John, Westwood Cardinals have a 32-27 lead. They just intercepted a ball on the Dumont 45 yard line. Oh, look there he is, the great Brian Carr. We're gonna lose him for a couple of weeks. He's going to, uh, to Yule. My God, that car is all over the place. 
And Westwood had went with a, a fourth. Westwood had a fourth and five in their own territory, and they pulled the Mike Campanelli. They went for it and made it fourth and five in their own territory. Went on to score a touchdown, and Westwood now leads 32-27. Well, plenty of time left though. Dumont still has a chance. I think he likes Dumont. Isn't he originally from Dumont? Yeah, he is. He the man with the uh, car, the great Brian Carr. <laughs> He does a show with um, Jimmy Abitable and Corey DeVora on uh, NorthJerseySports.com. Every Tuesday night, you can listen to them. They have coaches come on, talk about the uh, the previous week. They set up the week that's coming up, the top games. They do a nice job. Brian is always busy, always busy, always traveling with his job. Well, he's the own boss now, right? The Portes looks now, throws out here, has Ward, and Ward's knocked out of bounds. So number six, That's Ward the made the tackle reception. By Jared and a great tackle by Jared George, a freshman. Well, who uh, Coach uh, Whitehead was very high on when we spoke. Uh, they have a lot of speed. Second inning. Laportes looks, 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 throws. Uh, I don't know who he was throwing to. There was nobody there. And a flag. On the plate. <coughs> what? They're going to call interference on. They're going to call interference on Paramus Catlin. Defensive pass interference. So pass interference against Paramus Catholic, which is unfortunate because the ball was thrown in back of the receiver. There were three right. defenders around the receiver, but they First interfered with him. So 4.13, only about four or five seconds off the clock then. The Laportes looks, throws oh, downfield, and it could be, is he out of bounds? <laughs> He's out of bounds. They're gonna say out of bounds, That's I think. Bounds. Yeah. He, <clears throat> the ball was caught. Was, was that number good. 12? Was it 12? 22. Uh, or 22. Double K. Double K. My new nickname, fam. Second down and 10. Second and 10 from the 48. It's been a great defensive battle with enough offense and great kicking. The <laughs> Portes looks, throws to the right side. And almost intercepted as the ball was intended for Jones. Brings up a third and ten. Number five almost had an interception. That's that's Christian Abrams. Jones. It's been a great game. It's an enjoyable game for us, our second game. Look at that. Some more. Look at that thing. Third down. Delaportes looks, 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 fires. Tipped away by Jared. There was five defenders with that receiver. Jared George was there. Yeah. Looks like looks like they're sending out two receivers against five defensive backs. That's what it looks like. Yeah. So it's Dangler. fourth down, and of course, fourth and ten. They gotta go. <laughs> There's no tomorrow. They like to score here. You know, yeah. You want to get out of here with a score. Three fifty-eight. Maybe to go. even make two scores and die. You can win this game. <laughs> Well, you got 15 I mean, we've seen, points. This has been a crazy game. We've seen some crazy games. This game's not over yet. Well, wasn't uh, Paramus Catholic in one of those games oh. last week? Well, the point that <laughs> looks, throws, and he has Jones, and he's, in, he's kept his feet They're in bounds enough it. for a first down, I believe. He's got yep. a little cramp. And nice gold shoes. That's the reason why he caught the play. That's Jones. Taji Man Joe. From the 35, 34. De La Porte <laughs> is back. Look, steps up, throws, has his Wide man. Open. Wide open. And down to the goal line. Is Touch he in? Out. No, he's going to be a half a yard oh. short. He's going to be a half a yard short. That's Dengler. Dengler. Dengler had a touchdown last week for 74 yarder. Well, I said, John, all they gotta do is score. 
They got to go for two. Well, let's let them score first. First and goal from the one yard line. First and goal from the one. First and goal from the half yard line. That was a great pass and catch. Clock is running. They got to punch it in very quickly. Well, you got 3.27 to go. An eternity. They're two touchdowns away. Matthews is hit, goes to the goal line and in. He fought his way the last half yard. And Pope John, the 23rd, scores with 3.17 to go. Now they have to go for two. They go for one now. They got to go two if they score again. That's for a tie. You go for two here. Let's see what they're going to do. Looks like the kicker's going in. All right. You're going to have to go for two points. Well, yeah. That'll give you eight point differential. Then you go two points after you score. Yeah, I, 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 the way I look at it, I go for two and two and win the game, go home. Yeah. But this this may work in the long run. Well, not if he misses, though. That's. No, I don't think so. So, Pope John makes this interesting. 15 to 7 with 317 to go, and they got their timeouts. Let's see this play a throw from um, De La to. What a great throw for number eight, the quarterback. To Dengler. And you'll Let's see the Dengler young man going. coming across. He's wide open in the middle right there. He throws the ball to him. Look at there's nobody around him. Well, if the, the, the zone broke down from, there. From the 19 to the 10-yard line. He's just running now as hard as he can. To the five. He's going to go. Let me see how close. He dies. Oh, no. Oh, he, oh, he was close. Well, one foot line. He got one it right. Foot line. He got that right. Almost, because he got up, he wanted that touchdown. So, 15 to seven. So let's see what the uh, the Lions do. Will they pooch it, onside it, kick it? You got 3.17 to go with timeouts. You don't need it. You kick got, it you deep. Got plenty of time. Kick, with this kick kid, deep. kick it deep. You got a big leg there. This young man can kick. No, he can kick. You know, these mosquitoes are big. Don, they're coming after you left and right. God night. almighty. They're dive bombing you, know, you I'm now. Sweet. I know I was that sweet. <laughs> Justin. Oh, There's, it is a squeak. They did they do a little pooch there, but yeah. Onside kick. According to Brian Cobb, Westwood's too late T D comeback will top Doom on 39-27. They scored 14 <laughs> points. Very late in the fourth quarter, Tyler Giordano doing most Kelly, of the damage. Swish and, ten from the 47. and we have to thank the great Brian Carr, who's on his way <coughs> down to Brick Township to see tomorrow's big game. And what's his name, Brian Carr? <coughs> beep, beep. <laughs> He's got some vehicle. <laughs> get that, that there's your emblem. All right, Paramus Captain's got to get the, uh, get a couple of first downs here. And Pope John's got to stop him. There's not one. Oh, well, look There's at two. This. Look at this go. He's go. What a run, Richard. He's got one man to beat. He's going to go all the way. Touchdown. What a run by that man. Oh, no, he was stopped three or four times. But Tyshawn Brinson puts a bow on yard. this game. 53 yard TD. He was stopped three, maybe four three, maybe four times, but was able to break loose and then run down the field with an escort, one man escort, and go 53 yards and put Paramus Catholic up 21-7 <laughs> pending the PAT. Boy, what a great run by that young man. Number 28 to Sean Brinson. They had him stop for no gain. You figured no gain, call the timeout, we go second and 10. Thank you very much, I'll see you in the end zone. Ramos Cackler can't get their plays on the field. <laughs> Everybody's tired. <laughs> what a play, this young man. Kick is up and good. <laughs> so with 3.02 to go on an exciting 53-yard run by Brinson, 22-7. Paramus Catholic leads 
Pope John the 23rd. Let's watch that replay. Play. Watch how many times he stopped at the line so of scrimmage. from the 47. Now you're gonna see him come up. He breaks the tackle there. Now he's gonna break another tackle, number four. That's a he's, good player. Uh, he moves, now watch this. Now he, he picks up, great block, seal block right there by one of the uh, Primus counts. And right there, he's gone. Now, gets it about 35. Now he's got it to go in. And then he accelerates. 53 yards later, Mr. Tyson Brinson puts this game on ice. They needed a couple of first downs. He said, how about a touchdown? And that did it. See, that's how you break the back of a team. <laughs> this game we hear, it's almost, almost three hours long. Been a great one. Yeah, it's been, I tell you, with all the uh, We're mistakes, having fun. it's been great. The ball gets kicked out of bounds. Pope John will have it at the 20-yard line, Who's first that? and 10. Let's see what let's see what they do. Who knows? 302 to go. Oh well, yeah. Maybe that one's 80 yard touchdown run. Here we go. 302 it's, to go. It's been one of those games. Unbelievable game. Boy, you know, you get two teams that want to play. And they, they're young. And in both teams the are young. Young you make mistakes. You know, you, 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 we can't stress that enough. When you're young like this. And you have freshmen and sophomores playing a lot. Princeton, a lot of kids on the field. You're Princeton's going to have junior, mistakes. Right? He's a junior. Yeah, he's a junior. But, <coughs> you know, the, the, the penalties and the mistakes. That's a nice throw. That's a nice throw <coughs> right over there to Jones. Nice job. He, he fired that ball, waited to be open, and made the catch. Now the <coughs> clock stops. Now it starts again, 2.50. Put this, and now we have another Line flip Ten motion. Final start, offense. So we go to back, Pope John back. Gives us a chance to thank everyone for coming up here. We want to thank especially the uh, coach John Whitehead for giving us a good half hour on Wednesday. Discussing Absolutely. his team, his players, his hopes, his desires, and what his plans are. We wish him well. We go back with him all the way back almost, almost 20 years now, John. Unbelievable. Yep. Touch out here by uh, Jarrell Robinson. Nice job. Pretty A little Robinson. button hook. Catch. Quick play. Second and 15 from the 32. There's your clock there. Probably now. I want to thank the athletic director, Scott Handlin, for all the help he's given us, not only in today's game, but over the years, Scott's a good friend. Thank you so very much, Scott. How about, how about Look at this wrangler, he's in the middle. He may go. There he goes, he's at the 30, he's at the 20, he's at the 10, the five, knocked out of bounds. At the five yard line, Dengler. Ryan Dengler. Let's go, number three, running right in, let's go. John, did we see some? This, this half has been unbelievable. Back and forth and well, forth. Well, that one went back. from what? The 32 to the 15. That's 18 and 35. is 53 yard run of uh, pass. Pass play. And we have a timeout on the field. My God. What a throw. And this uh, young man can it's run. A, uh, this is a. Oh, yeah. This, that's our website when you get to it. The port this looks, 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 looks. He's going to run. And he's knocked down as he gets across the five yard line. That was so it's going to bring up a second down and goal. Lion the third stopped the touchdown. Clock is running with 125 to go. Stop it, John Lion the third. Tell the port this has to play. They got to go quickly. He's a runner, too. Well, he, there was nothing, so he took off. He's down about the four yard line. Do they score again? The Matthews go, walks touchdown. in for the touchdown. How do you like this? Touchdown. We've had two touchdowns in the last minute and 10 seconds. 
So now we have very little scoring, 15 nothing. Now it could be 22 14. Well, what do you do? You kick the PAT. Extra point. Yep. Told you how big that Brinson uh, touchdown was. Oh. <laughs> here comes your. What happened over here? Oh, Dangler has to be in, has to hold. <laughs> he scored a. <laughs> well, he was tired. Yeah, well, I ran. I'll... Kick is up. And it's good. So, with one minute, nine seconds to go in the game, it is 22 to 14 for Amish Catholic over Pope John. Let's see that, let's see that pass. Well, watch this throw. As Brian Dangler, wide open in the middle. And now he puts on these afterburners. From the 40, moves on. Breaks one tackle to the 50. Gets, looks like he gave almost a stiff arm. Now it's a drag race <laughs> to the 40. To the 35. That's a fair side one in real motion. To the 30. <laughs> I'm getting tired. <laughs> and now 22 comes over. He's going to come back. Oh, down to the about Six yard, six yard line. Six yard line. Here comes the kick. It's a pooch kick. And it's covered by Paramus Catholic. That was a nicer pooch kick. That was very nice done. But it was covered. 109 to go. We thank Scott Hanlon. We thank uh, John Whitehead. We want to thank Jimmy Abitable for setting everything up here for break. us. Thank you so very much. Thank the players from both teams who gave us all they had. They played all, gave 110%. Thank everyone. Thank you so very much for helping us put this on. To all the volunteers at WCTV. And we, um, the star of the show tonight was Peggy Fancola for her 42 meatballs that were devoured. <laughs> like they were on a desert island for a week. <laughs> Here's Brinson again. And this time he's corralled as he gets to the 47 yard line. Going to call the timeout. We want to thank everybody from WCTV who's working here tonight. Nick Bessink down below, Ricky Wochicki upstairs, our technical director, the great Lou Serbio. Lou's upstairs, top we'll get, Cameron. He's going to be taking home some uh, Italian. Vincent Sagrado, who's done, he's exhausted. We took him out the first game, he may never come back again. Go home and tell us. Fall. You okay back there? You know, all right? Come on, yeah, have a good time. He's, he survived. <laughs> Ida, who's doing the uh, directing. Paul Zadatowski was helped with the... <laughs> Paul, Paul's over here to our... Come on in, Paul. You got to get a picture. We don't have you. We got to get you on TV. Get over here. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Come, come in come on. there. There we are. Paul Zadatowski. Oh What's that Thunder baseball down in South Jersey? 1994 established. All right, 103 to go. 103 as to go. Noel has, hands off to Brinson. He's gonna to try to stay in bounds and get the first down. And he yeah. does as he crosses the 40 yard line with 57.7 <laughs> seconds to go. You know, they still have a shot to tie this game. Brinson's the ball carrier. That sucker, that was a mosquito, baby. <laughs> that had Good wings stop. galore. They're coming now. So uh, Pope John calls a timeout. 57. You know, you call 7. a timeout because you never know. The way these balls have been snapped, you could fumble and recover it and throw a touchdown pass. You and, never know. And, and that would be overtime, Larry. Oh, yeah. Oh, could you imagine going to overtime? It could be. Ooh. Some games were played today. Old Japan beat Ridgewood in a tough game. Westwood in a really tough game against Dumont. Dumont's coming along. Hey, that's a great game. They're you know, putting together a nice program over there. Westwood had to come up with two big touchdowns in the uh, late in the game to win. 
And here, Deshaun Brinson saved the day. Saved the day with that big touchdown. Well, a 53-yard run. <clears throat> Let's see now they're gonna back Paramus Catliff who delay a game. I don't know. You had a timeout. How could you ever delay a game? I don't know. That's Final a good one, huh? I guess you didn't get the play <clears throat> on time. <clears throat> First and 15. Look at it. This is a victory. There's no more timeout. And I believe that could do it. Well, Referee two. spots the ball. You got to have two plays. Maybe. Yeah. Just, let's see. He spots the ball. He's got to, got to be one more play. He one. spots it now. There'll be one, one more play. play. That's one it. One more play. Now you put a knee. That's going to be your final score. The final score will be 22 to 14. Paramus Catholic over Pope John. No, we'll, we'll take the we'll take the snap and go go down and that'll do it. that'll do it. There's you. Heck of a knee, ball game. And the game is over. So we thank everybody, all our people here at WCTV. We thank Mrs. Frank Caller. We hope everybody enjoyed the meatballs. We had a ball doing it as we always do. We thank the people here at Paramus Catholic for being so gracious. Again, the final score, 22-14, Paramus Catholic over Pope John the 23rd. We will be at Westwood next week. I guess when Westwood takes on Ramsey, and if it's anything like this weekend, it'll be a bond burner. That should we'll be a see battle. You next week. Goodbye, everybody.